and we are streaming okay now let me get the, the link to share it and I'll just share it on Twitter. Well, hello, Mateo's already on chat. video will be yeah I don't think it's gonna be very good man considering it's AT80 -AT chat let me see something okay. all right people popping in morning morning at cat hello ABCB how you doing strike TT chat, yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so are both of you guys in the what together? Yeah, uh, are you using uh, incognito mode or just normal? Right. I can't hear Tim. Uh, Tim isn't saying anything, AVCB. Yeah, that just happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You are you were fine during a uh, thought theater stream. <laughs> Brit, a Brazilian, and a German. Term. Yep. Can't hear the man in the middle, which is me. Can't hear me. Oh, can't hear any moment, but Zod. Uh, from 1 to 1 billion, how much tizen will we endure? Well, that's a good question, because in it's 80-80 chat, I guess it'll be a lot. Chad's breakdown is pretty good. Not what we need, a second British Empire. Yeah, I agree, Matthias. Soap is kind of quiet. Okay, let me... I'm not making your audio louder. How about now, chat? 
Fuck, I have so many tabs open now. I can't hear Soapy. Soapy's kind of quiet. How about now? Can you hear him? That is a good question. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, your audio is coming through fine for me. I just need to know if it's uh, how it's going or not. True, the people watching. I can hear a small hum of German noises. Uh, it sounds like he's whispering. Okay, so hmm, that's no. I think it's my end. I just um, e yeah, I, uh, I made your audio better, so let's see. Maybe it's the audio for desktop-tisms. No, that's working fine I'm from my end on, uh, on OBS. Can't hear Tin and Sophie, that's just Discord-tisms. But I can't hear, I can hear them fine. Uh, fucking Discord is... OBS, that's awesome, okay. Yeah, I can I can hear you fine and and, uh, and tin when he eventually talks. Try listening to yourself on your phone or tablet. Informed, you do know I'm not Zod, right? <laughs> uh, maybe uh, maybe I should I should uh, the stream I mean other voices not coming to too. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, Informed, but yeah, maybe I should change back to my original avatar. <laughs> Uh, Tim, if you've seen the year, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. <laughs> okay. Let me just... I'm gonna mute myself here real quick so I can hear to the audio. Yeah, I did notice that uh, the audio isn't coming through with desktop for some reason. I have no idea why. Let me see if I can. Oh, wait. Maybe it's this. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you guys can hear uh, this card now. Oh, yeah, I'm formed. You do know that, uh, like... I am the one in the middle, so my avatar is from Legion, and the one on the left is Tin, and his avatar is from Rapunzel. So, you know, you're pretty wrong yeah, there I'm, still. I'm from, yeah, I'm from Rapunzel. <laughs> but a lot of people seem to confuse you and, uh, and Zod with, uh, with that profile picture. Yeah, 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 because, well, I kind of wanted to get in on, on some Disney golf action. <laughs> Disney golf is the best. Yes, they can hear now, yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, find now? Yeah, it's just uh, I know what uh, I know what the problem was. And I just fixed it. I'm good to know for next time. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, what you okay, change? Oh, you know, it's clear okay. now. Oh, it's because uh, when I record, I usually use uh, like one separate track for each audio track. So like I have one track for desktop audio and one track for my mic. Both so I uh, so I had unmarked one of the tracks for. Uh, for desktop audio when I had to mark it again, so yeah, now it's working. Which means, like, if I were to edit it, it'd be worse, but I'm not gonna edit this anyway, so it's fine. Alright, so... Okay, so... Start. Did you, uh, join the the room, Tim? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, why are there two users here that are like uh, that, well, that might be me because uh, 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 watch the gepatisms are very tismy okay then <laughs> that's fine yeah uh, they stream now they stream now need to remember that <laughs> for the future yeah i'm gonna do that uh 
Okay, so we can can we start the video? Yeah, I'm fine for now. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. You know what's fantastic? The Praetorian Guard battle in eight. <laughs> no, no, that's uh, that's already <laughs> wrong. But do continue. <laughs> Our two fight between elite warriors and two extremely powerful force users. Beyond the outstanding set design for this sequence, the camera movement, the music, the way... I mean, I, I do like the, the, the set design. I think it's cool, with the, especially the, these bright red lights. I think it looks neat. And uh, I, I do like uh, Ryan Johnson's uh, way of directing stuff. Like, his camera movement is good. But uh, I don't know if that instantly makes this a good fight scene, considering how awful it is. But yeah, but I would say even the the camera work isn't that great in the scene either. Oh yeah, I just think about the set. Weird. I I I can't say much about the set. Uh, like I I don't really like how it looks, but that's maybe it's just me. But yeah, the camera work is like yeah, it's it's there. <laughs> I don't know if it's yeah, I mean, really it, it's that type of thing where like if camera work isn't too intrusive, it just it's fine. Right? Like uh, if you, if you don't just feel bothered by it, then it's not a, exactly a. Big yeah, problem. it's not it's not like in Transformers where you can't see anything. So <laughs> or in like uh, one thing they have for it's like it's not like in Taken where where you have a cut every millisecond. So that's that. Uh, it's it's uh, camera work is okay. And, and editing, I think it's 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 okay, but yeah, like I mean, uh, uh, from I mean, there's the ten, uh, the disappearing knife which could be chucked up to a. It's true, sure that I I'm talking about the, the rest of the stuff, right. but like Francen said, yeah, powerful force users that don't use the force. That's that's a huge issue in this fight, and you can see it like with everything. Oh, He's yeah, just yeah. throwing any, anybody around, and, and it's like, why don't you use the force? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it makes the fight more interesting. And also, when you say, like, when he's saying the sequence is, is great and then talks about mm -hmm. all the stuff, and then he puts this, uh, like we see here, the sequence is amazing uh, on the screen, it just reinforces that he's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like Why the fuck he, do he, you do this, this is a. I mean, this is his uh, thesis. So I mean, let's see how well he argues at that, uh, that point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think he's got a, like a lot of ground to stand on when it comes to that. I just think this putting the sentence on the screen is really stupid. Yeah, I did it in my uh, objectivity video to like separate from topics. But yeah, I just I really don't like that. It. It's okay, but you can. Like saying stuff and then just like he does here is, is it's stupid. Uh, if you if you want to separate your points and stuff, totally fine. And, and there there's very many valid reasons to use text on screen, <laughs> but this kind of is like, oh, let me tell you how amazing this is. And to underline it, I put this uh, the sentence, the the statement under uh, under what I'm saying that it's amazing and you can't question it. Awesome like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, video essay bingo, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Why it's my favorite part? Oh, Unformed Eight said this is his favorite part in TLJ. It's a very simple, shallow reason, lightsaber resistant armor in the moment where Kylo dual wields weapons. I mean, sure, it's just the choreography is so bad, and uh, TLJ uh, actually has a few moments that are, uh, that are nice, like uh, Luke uh, and. Uh, mm -hmm. R2 uh, talking in the Millennium Falcon and R2 shows uh, the recording of Leia from A New Hope to him. Uh, that's a nice scene. And uh, and when Luke meets Leia, I mean, I think those two scenes, they're actually good and they could work in a good film. This scene, yeah. no, it couldn't work at all because it's, it's so bad. It all ebbs is worth talking about. Wait, it skipped a bit. Let me... The camera movement, the music, the way it all ebbs and flows is worth talking about. Which brings us to okay, today's okay. video. The most he, he's right. It's worth talking about, but not in the sense he wants to. Yeah, Just, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, is the is the audio from the video working fine? Uh, if you guys on chat can tell me. 
best fight of all time by every wait 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 no uh, he didn't uh, what? <laughs> brings us to today's video the most best fight scene of all time by every objective okay. metric oh, oh he, he, fuck he, you. He, he's joking he's a it's a being hyperbolic uh, yeah the other I hope so, better. Uh, but either way uh, what the fuck <laughs> If he's not joking, but uh, he did say objective by every objective standard or something like that. I do think he he doesn't believe it that objectivity. Yeah, exists. I hope so. He does like, of course, he doesn't believe it. But saying this is like, even if it's a joke, it's <laughs> still wrong. <laughs> it's it's exactly the opposite, or maybe maybe almost exactly the opposite. Like yeah. with almost every objective standard, this fight sucks. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 for him to, yeah, he said the most best fight, which is why I think it's pretty clear that he's yeah, just that's joking. Yeah, just of Yeah. The throne room battle. Joking aside, it's a sequence that has been okay, on my mind joking. since The Last Jedi came out. This scene is climbing the ladder of favorite lightsaber battles in the entire saga. Yeah, I think it's that good. But what about the blade? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, uh -oh. just uh, pay attention to something here. He, he's showing yeah. the scene like normally right so uh right after uh, like uh, this there's that that moment right after this where uh, like three guards go attack ray and uh and ray just like shoots one and all three will walk back but uh, yeah. <laughs> look what he did in that lightsaber editing. battles in the entire saga yeah i in two <laughs> oh, extremely he, he, put, it out. he put a uh, yeah he blurred the the screen at the point where that that shows up just like entire saga the yeah moment that i she think does it's that, that good <laughs> he fucking blurs oh, the screen man. that's so funny <laughs> i hope it's coincidental but it seems to fall <laughs> uh, it's too funny to me. And there's also if you, yeah. if you guys are streaming if you pay attention to this guy look at uh, what he's doing Climbing it's so the funny he has no idea what you do battles in the he spins out of nowhere saga. and then he yeah, hits one I of his friends that... ah, this uh, this is so bad. look at what uh what kaido's doing like he um uh, go a few seconds back and play it again. Kylo is he like is climbing uh, the ladder of favorite lightsaber battles in standing the entire there for saga. Second, yeah, I think it's that good. But what about the blade? He then, oh, hold on. Sorry. Oh, mate. Ah, I hate Watchdog. <laughs> so, um, and then then he like rams his lightsaber into the ground, and it, it's so awkward when you see that. Um, what he's doing there, it's not, nothing. He's just standing there and, and pretending to fight. It's so stupid. There's n nobody saw this on set. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand. I just think they didn't really care because Ryan Johnson, he uh, had his head way up his ass. Why, why, why yeah, but the thing so? is, with, with Knives Out or, uh, and, and other movies, he actually cares more. <laughs> I don't. I mean, uh, what oh. I've heard to say that the, that uh, his film, the the, fuck, the first one, what you call it, it's a uh, brick. Looper? I've heard that it's a uh, it's oh. a good film. It's because like he spent years uh, like working on it and making the script good, and like the, his other films like mm -hmm. Knives Out and TLJ, he just used most of his uh, first draft. Like he, he even confirmed that he used ninety percent of his first draft in TLJ. Which I find funny because yeah. he he said it himself in an interview that your first draft is always gonna suck, so you know. He's stupid, but but from like uh, sorry um, uh, continue. Uh, my, <laughs> okay, yeah, continue. That good. But what about the blade, at at? Oh. Hold on, we have to talk about this blade thing, because if I'm not mistaken, this was actually the first time Star Wars has ever had any form of visual inconsistency oh, fuck. ever. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's not the argument to retard. Oh, that's what about his, man, it's oh, purest yeah, form. Cool. Holy fuck, that's so retarded. I, no. I have to say it, because it's like, it's the stupidest argument those TLJ defenders and people do in general. They are saying something, uh, something else in another movie is bad. Therefore, yeah, like if, the stuff if, if there's in something... that movie you criticize is bad, and therefore it's okay to be bad. Yeah, if there it's, if it's there's something argument. like this disappearing knife in any other Star Wars film, it's also bad. It's not just because it's but, uh, it's yeah, and, but at the same time, movie. it's good again. Yeah, like because it's it's bad somewhere else. 
because it's the same base uh, or they claim it's the same but then um in, in the same breath they say because it's somewhere else and it's bad there uh, too it's okay again and not bad and and it's it's so twisted logic they uh, i mean it's not logic but it's so twisted what they what they're trying to say with this and even if if it's somewhere bad somewhere else it's still bad in your fuck i don't care for for the sake of argument we could say dot and the prequels and every other movie on the world uh, in the world is bad let's say every every movie is bad ever made it still would be bad Yo, yeah, i don't care like, what ooh, if it's another movies as well or not. yeah but just like I, I don't think there is any other instance in a Star Wars film that is as bad as C.O.J. when yeah, it comes to this. Because no... the disappearing knife, uh, uh, it happens. Yeah. Because uh, it was going... It, it it was, like, clearly going to kill Rey. But the choreography was so bad that they had to, like, take it out in editing. So, like, yeah. it's, uh, it, it's plot armor just because the choreography is bad. It makes Rey live. It's very important to the story, like... It's also a false equivalence, equivalency uh, because he's saying there are no visual um, inconsistencies in other movies. The problem is a visual inconsistency and a deliberate edit are two different things. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this isn't Not just an thing. inconsistency. They're trying to fix a mistake in yeah. post so that people don't exactly. notice, but people did notice, so, you know. It, that, that, that too, but even though like we noticed other stuff as well we, we um when when we watch it a few times and we we will spot visual inconsistencies but the visual inconsistency is normally something that happens because of camera um like how when they filmed the thing and maybe in edit because like some someone makes a mistake or whatever mm -hmm. it can be totally fine but the disappearing knife is Deliberate is really ma made actively, not an error like a uh, uh, visual inconsistency would be. Yeah. And he's trying to equate that, and that's. Uh. <laughs> and also, did he say at at? Uh, yeah. Does he call himself at at? No, I, I, th I think he, it was just uh, trying I to hope create it a strong because with... he was like, oh, what about the disappearing knife at at? Like, sure, if it's, sure. a, it's a child saying something like he can't understand yeah. his name or something like that okay star oh. wars has ever had any form of visual inconsistency ever there is a scene where the blade of a praetorian guard disappears you, you have you guys paid attention to the choreography with ray here as well like her arm how like she traps her arm inside this guy's arm and she just uh, mm. it's, shed's video points it out very well i can't i noticed it, this in I noticed this in other uh, parts of the scene as well that uh, the characters uh, move themselves into the next um, blow or whatever. So you see one guard, she's, I think he, uh, I'm not sure who, who who's killing the guard, uh, but um, the guard attacks like the uh, either Ray or Kaido and they um they throw away two others and then just uh, move their sword in front of them and pierce uh, pierce the guard walking to them he's deliberately like he's exactly walking into the strike um and there are many instances in, in this fight where you just can say okay we have to have those persons here so move there and don't care about anything else yeah. and that's Super. That's really super. Yeah, I, I recommend watching uh, watching Shad's video on this fight because it's amazing how. I will watch it again at some point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's been a while. <laughs> so Wait, uh, oh, I'm informed that the, the stream is dead, but apparently it's working fine for everyone else. So. Uh, yeah, it works for me. Oh, by uh, by the way, Tim, a friend of mine just asked, uh, uh, just sent me a message asking if uh, the the goth, the goth Elsa is mute. So you know. <laughs> I'm not mute. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just contemplating the shitty argument. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm just. Uh, uh, just letting everyone know that Tian. He he's here. He just doesn't talk much. But I'm not dead. Yes, he is alive. Not, not yet. Shad's <laughs> video is evil. Yeah, it's fine. Weird. It's fine. 
Okay. All right. Um, so yeah. let us see. Where the blade of a Praetorian guard disappears because the tank that was used has a blade still in the left hand of the guard. It probably was supposed to have fallen away in the take used when the guard and Ray's blade made contact. But like, if he defends uh, subjectivity, doesn't he dis just basically disprove uh, his uh, subjectivity point? Because he, uh, this is a clear mistake. He just admitted. He just admitted that. Uh, oh, it, there was a probably a, a different take where he he fucking threw the knife away. And, uh, but that didn't make the final cut, so that's why they had to do this. So this is clearly a mistake, he's admitting that, so I just, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know, I just find, I just find this weird. Um, I'm not sure what he's trying to say. Yeah. But I guess, as an editor myself, that this was the overall best performance. Oof, <laughs> and, mm, no, I'm sorry, if that's the best performance you have, I'm very sorry for you. You have no idea. Okay. I mean, he's wrong in both ways. It's not a good performance. And, like, if that's the best performance they could manage, then it's really, really sad. Um, and the second is... No. Continu like, continuity is the most important thing, I'd say. Performance should be good. Yes, sure. But... If you have to sacrifice continuity to get for well, for performance, that's no, that's not. And I mean, with performance, I think he means with like uh, not only acting but choreography as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And but, like, but so the like thing the, is, the choreography in that take again? is fucking terrible. Yeah, just do it again. <sighs> yeah, I, mean, I, they, I think they uh, have uh, Ryan Johnson just has that mentality that uh. That like uh, you see like a few days ago, uh, fucking James Gunn tweeted about it, saying that uh, it's bad to have this, and uh, George Lucas talked about that with uh, having the mentality of oh no, I'll fix this in post instead of actually trying to do it practically, practically to make it look good like without uh, any editing touches. So like Ryan just was probably like oh I'll fix this in post because he liked the acting from uh, Daisy Ridley there, but like the choreography was still awful. So. Yeah, and like I said, you, you can't just do it again. I mean, sure, it's not always possible if you like you have to if you have to rebuild the set or to get the uh, like the uh, costume sets and stuff like that. Maybe it's not always possible to reshoot the stuff. But uh, sorry, I I don't care for Star Wars. It's like okay, then let let us spend another million to make a better scene. God damn it. Uh, just okay. And AT uh, AT AT chat was a very <laughs> asshole to sort. I I don't know why he said this. So stupid. It's not even an argument, and it's it's insulting and it's stupid. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. He he was very retarded. Uh, let yeah, me just yeah. show this meme here. on chat here <laughs> from Mateus. <laughs> uh, it's uh, let me send you the link so you guys can check it out as well. <laughs> yeah, it, it will be quite a journey. It's a yeah, yeah. It has been already, <laughs> and it's only been one minute and twenty of his video. How long have we been live for? Uh, it's minutes. only been one minute? Yeah, we've been live for 30 minutes and we watched a minute and a half. And and also I would want to say, we have the first Ecom meme. Yeah, it is Yay. the first Ecom meme. <laughs> the first official Ecom meme, nice. Yeah, we already got memes. That's awesome. <laughs> nice, that's so great. <laughs> Oops, sorry. What the fuck? Okay, continue, I, I'd say. Okay. Myself, that this was the overall best performance of Daisy Ridley, and that the team decided oh, to so use sad. this performance and send like, the. You, you can't even see her face properly because, uh, like, it all go, goes by so fast. And, like, look at this uh, here. He showed the scene. Performance of Daisy Ridley, and that the team like, decided. It, it, we, ha we first we show the, the back of her head, then we, we have her, like, uh, with her arm around the, the, the arm of the, the guard and like yeah. you can't even see her face properly there so like is it 
is it really necessary to have her best performance instead of the best performance in terms of uh, in terms of choreography? Because I think choreography in this scene would have been much uh, like a lot better than just having a good performance from Daisy Ridley. Yeah, and also like she's performing like every every time else. <laughs> it's like she's not doing something particularly special. Not saying that her performance uh, isn't good in uh, in the other scenes or something. I I can say much about it because she's she doesn't have a character to work with. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's not outstanding here. So why not just redo it? And and also when you look at like how she's clinging to his arm, seriously, let your sword fall. And go out of there. <laughs> no, but you know that she she, she trapped her she own arm it, around there, it. right? Like she yeah, she put her arm around there. It's so retarded. Like this choreography yeah. is so bad. They, it's they a, move it's into a, the position they have to be, and not naturally. Yeah, course. it's a, Ryan Johnson wanted to get to some place in the like he wanted to to have her arm be uh, trapped in there so she could do the the trick where she drops the lightsaber and grabs it with her other hand and it didn't matter how they got there so it just how they got there is retarded but then she makes the thing is like oh we got this payoff but like the, the build up to it wasn't uh, oh it wasn't turned which is a problem I have with a lot of things nowadays yeah and uh, I think uh, <laughs> what Nick Brown said is pretty funny you might not see her face, face properly oh. but you can definitely see her gaping mouth <laughs> <laughs> performance and send True. the shot off for rotoscoping Wait, so that way it's the performance a of Daisy Ridley and that the team decided to use this performance and send the shot off for rotoscoping so, so that way the blade can yeah. disappear it, so uh, the, the thing is, is I'm asking out an object frame by frame in order to remove said object also knows an object removal okay th okay uh, so basically so the thing is the why does he put it on the I I'm trying to listen to what he's saying and then he puts that on there and i have to pause to read the stuff and it doesn't even it's not even necessary for his argument uh, yeah we know how like in theory know how to edit something out i don't know to have uh, to know the term for that and the the definition yeah, I don't like he said oh they, they sent the, the shot they, they they saw the, uh, that she was the the best uh, acting they had of daisy ridley and then uh, they uh, sent you rotoscoping, and then he puts the definition of rotoscoping on screen. Couldn't he just say, uh, couldn't he just explain what rotoscoping is or use the different term? Yeah. Just like, uh, or, or like uh, how Rag says when uh, people use terms like this. It's, uh, you explain what it is, like you say, oh, and they send the, they send the shot so they could rem uh, mask out the object, or rotoscoping. So then you use the word in the end, because yeah. you because uh, you already explained the meaning, and you, you like you teach people who are watching your video the the this new word, but instead and he just decided to put on screen the meaning, which is a uh, yeah retarded. Something I will do for my videos will be like when I use a word that maybe needs to be defined, I will put like like a small um, one or something like like. Like if I would uh, do footnotes in an um, in a written essay, I would put up like a one, and everybody knows. Okay, I have to go to the description. There's one, and then the link to the definition or something like that. So, so that people are not like can watch it if they know the word already and don't have to be like distracted by the stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, and I mean, uh, like I'm, I'm I said, I I don't know what he's saying because I'm reading the stuff here, and it's yeah. stupid. But uh, like I, I fell victim to this too, too. Like uh, putting stuff on stream on screen. Like on my second video on Legion, I say like, "Oh, this is pretty much the definition of codependency." And then I put a like the definition of codependency on screen, but I, I didn't read it out, and it just it's very quickly. Like I do this stuff as well, but it's still a problem for me as it is for him. So you know, just yeah, that's... yeah. I like I fell victim to this too, and. Like it really doesn't matter if uh, if I do it as well, it's still bad. Yeah, you you suck as uh, equal. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're as bad as eighty eighty chips. Okay, no, but yeah, there's always a better way to do it, and I think um, sometimes you can't get around it, and that's fine. But not with stuff like this. It's. <laughs> <I cried. laughs> 
pet me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just you. you I don't know. If, for you to use something on screen, and you need to uh, to like make it. Uh, I don't know to justify why you did. So like, uh, just uh, if you want to make uh, emphasize emphasize a point, but you are like speaking exactly what's on screen is better because then people like can they can pay, pay attention to you reading it out instead of just be, of just paying attention to the screen and then to having to uh, rewind so they can hear what you said. Yeah, exactly. So and we have to rewind because I. Yeah, yeah we've already, we... already re re rewind it a bit, but let's do it. Okay. And that the team decided to use this performance and send the shot off for rotoscoping so that way the blade could disappear for the remainder of this shot. At the end of the day, okay, okay. absolutely. Now I am. Yeah, he said rotoscoping. I was like. Uh, the, sorry. Uh, the definition um, came on the screen and I didn't hear him saying rotoscoping. I just. My brain just automatically went to the. To the thing, to the definition and stuff. So I, I didn't recognize that he was saying it was talking about this. So this is even, even stupider. Like, give us a second to think about what you're saying. Yeah, like, it, like, I, like I said, you don't have to use the, the term rotoscoping because, first, because you, uh, uh, like, if you want people to really understand what you're saying, you should just explain the term out loud. Yeah, but, uh, it takes it, a second. Yeah, and it's like not a word that a lot of people know. It, it, it would take some time to... Uh, <laughs> to... Yeah, but why didn't he just say um, they used rotoscoping, meaning editing out the stuff frame by frame? Something like that. I and also, I would be I like, found, okay, uh, I understand what you mean. I also found his sentence a bit weird because he was like, they sent it to rotoscoping so they could mask out the, the, the knife. But rotoscoping is masking an object out. So like... So they sent it to yeah. mask an object out, so they could mask the uh, the knife out. Like it's kind of redundant. So, but anyway, it's just yeah. It's not really an argument. It's more of a you know, nitpicky kind of thing. But uh, that I don't, really don't like with uh, video essays. Blade That's, could disappear yeah. for the remainder of this shot. At the end of the day, absolute realism is not what is important in regards <sighs> to Star Wars. In a um, yeah. Oh, sorry. No one ever said it was like it's a sci-fi universe or fantasy. Game. I hate this stupid argument. It's not just because it's sci-fi or just because it's Star Wars. It's not, it doesn't mean that it can't be realistic, and and they don't understand what's real, what realistic means. Um, it especially might be sci -fi, but the laws of physics still fucking exist. Yeah. E exactly. Like uh, in terms um, of realism, it doesn't need to be realistic, but it needs to be consistent within its own universe, its internal consistency. That's what it, it's important. Yeah. And like, if a and knife disappears out of thin air, that's not consistent. That doesn't make any sense in, in this universe. And and the funny thing is, by the way, um, in my university studies right now, I learned about uh, realism in literature. And realism there doesn't mean uh, that something is realistic in the sense that it would be like that in our real world. It means that it seems realistic. Like people, there, there was an example, the, um, like uh, stories about um, uh, battle scenes in the Civil War, I think. And, and people read them and, and there were, were some parts of the story where they said it's totally unrealistic, that would never happen. But in actuality, it did. And the other stuff they thought would were like re uh, really happening weren't, were, were invented mostly. So um, there is a difference between something being like in the real world and so, uh, how we experience it, that it's always a, there's always a disconnection there. But um, yeah, it doesn't mean that just because something is fantastical in any way that everything can be thrown out. It's, I hate this argument when they do it about uh, like in Game of Thrones with some some with Sam, uh, the yes. fat guy, and it, and he's right. saying like, oh, uh, there are dragons in the show, and you complain about someone being fat. Yeah, that's <laughs> just because they're dragons doesn't mean that other uh, forces of nature don't work anymore. You have 
you still have a meta Buddhism and, and stuff like that. So, oh, wait, oh. just a, a fucking strike said on chat, and I looked it up. Rotoscoping isn't what yeah. he said either. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know that, but uh, yeah, look, that, that's uh, yeah, that's a definition. It's an animation technique to trace over motion picture footage frame by frame to produce realistic action. Originally, animators projected photograph live action movie images onto a glass panel and trace over the image. So it's uh it's so, motion capturing some yeah so it's some motion way. motion captured for uh animated stuff like uh the Lion king 2019 or surfs up or stuff like that that they no no actually i don't think they did motion capture for that it was a vr world or something like that they did but they did motion capture for was a uh, rango i think but yeah so it's not even the correct definition <laughs> and, oh, that's so oh, funny God. i can't believe it uh, okay, can, if you want to use links, back. send uh, send it on uh, Discord and tag me. It's a uh, better than a motion capture. Yeah, okay. motion capture for 2D. It's literally yeah. using live action footage produce realistic animation. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> so the definition he still put on screen is wrong. So wrong? Uh, that's so funny. That's so stupid. Okay, can we go back a few seconds to yeah. to hear his realistic argument again? Absolute I... realism is not what is important in regards to Star Wars, and especially their laser sword okay, fights. Okay, so yeah. If it were, wait, then... wait, 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 wait. Uh, go back. I want to see what was to Star screen? Wars, and especially. What about this, though? Vader I think it was, I think it was like, shouldn't Vader be headless? Their la Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an editing mistake. Yeah. Of... So yeah. Um, but but the thing is like he's saying yeah we are not looking for absolute realism there you're yeah, looking I mean, for what, the, what i think the, the thing is there is like a, this is empire right so it was yeah. 1980 they didn't have the technology we do today so like uh, an editing mistake like this is a it's like a lot more excusable but it's still a mistake don't get me wrong like 8080 chat if you're if you think that we're just gonna excuse this because it's a movie we like, no, it's still a mistake in, in that film. Like, uh, yeah, yeah the lightsaber still, goes through his helmet. But it still doesn't have the same implications because... Uh, go f go back... Uh, wait, I go back for a few seconds to see it again. Um, ...is not what is important sorry, in regards sorry. to Star Wars, and especially their laser sword. Okay, so you... I fra uh, paused on the frame, um, 145. So... You see that the, the thing is going, the, the lightsaber is going through him, right? Mm -hmm. That is something I would never notice by watching it. Oh, like, yeah, but, I uh, but like saying how... the, the, you wouldn't notice, I don't like that. Because like, I know you... about most people didn't notice the, the disappearing oh, no, but, the first time. No, no, um, that's not my, sorry, I'm, I want, to, my argument is a bit different. Oh. So, you see this for a split second that it goes through him. So, and you see that the knife is not there for longer. So, th there's already a difference there, I think. And this is also like a visual... I I'm not sure how they filmed the, the lightsabers. How did they film them? Um, I, I know they, they, they did us a few tricks back then and uh, with... with uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what it was, so... It strikes us um, in chat the, the Empire fight has actually good choreography, but yeah, the AT AT chat wouldn't yeah, say okay. that when considering he's defending TLJ. He's not gonna, he doesn't know what good choreography actually is. Yeah, and, and we can easily fix this uh, thing. Like, okay, um, that maybe uh, the uh, actor should um, aim a bit lower with his sword than, than he does in the shot. So, that this won't happen. That's it. Um, and with the other, uh, with the other thing, we have to take a weapon entirely out to fix this. Uh, the mistake there is. I think it's uh, it's not as equally as bad. It's it's certainly a problem, but but it's not on the same level. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's still an issue. Like I said earlier, if uh, it doesn't matter if. Uh like it's just what about this to try to defend TLJ by seeing that it's not but yeah that, uh, it's not about a realism or not an argument <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's really not an argument sorry it's, no it's not an argument it is okay. not an argument okay. let's continue maybe he makes a good point uh, eventually In regards to Star Wars and especially their laser sword fights if it were oh and it's not a laser sword you retard 
Uh, not this shit again. <laughs> Why are they saying laser sword? I mean, sometimes it happens to me because other people say it all the time, and my stupid brain thinks it's it's right, but it's not. It's a lightsaber. I don't. Know. It just uh, try to devalue to make uh, it seem like like uh, Patrick Willem said. It's a movie about space wizards intended for children. Just trying to like break the film down to its most like uh, worthless value like uh if you, if you, ju you just strip away anything else you just take it at a very basic level to make the film seem uh, like it's more simple more stupid than it is but if you exactly. actually watch a new hope and empire they're actually very good films so but but that does uh, that the problem is that that this does undermine their own position if if you can break it down like that and it's stupid anyway why then say that the movie is good uh, yeah, uh, Neil Jay wouldn't be good with this logic, and also even if you want to break it down, at least say plasma sword or something like that. It's not, it's not laser. Yeah, I, I, I don't get why not just say uh, lightsaber. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, all, all these memes have been coming from uh, Matteo, so thank you. It's been, <laughs> they've been great. <laughs> And uh, uh, Tin strikes at our chat. I thought this my new avatar would be on it, but yeah. <laughs> Tin uh, strikes right, at our chat that you uh, you have the most British voice he's ever heard. Who has the most? A Tin <laughs> strikes. Wait, at I do. Oh right, uh, apparently. Yeah, British. British. apparently, yeah. Yeah. You have. Well, I am there. British, but makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> What what does my accent sound like? Because I I know Jeb thinks I'm British, but it's just because he's deaf. <laughs> I I don't know. Sometimes I I think I thought you were um, uh, Filipino, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a... I'm bad with accents. <laughs> oh yeah, you have a very hot uh, German accent. I don't. <laughs> let's uh, let's continue the video laser sword <laughs> fights if it were then these all wouldn't have passed okay uh, that was stupid as well uh, wait, like, uh, why so fast yeah it is too fast but uh, that laser was stupid sword as well fights. If to it not cut the rope with the saber he he, he was stupid to do that it, it is a mistake okay now, uh, yeah like, no no it, no it's babe, like revenge babe. of the sith it's the prequels where of course uh, we're gonna criticize that stuff like uh, but but no uh, there's a difference between a person not doing some f something or or committing mistake or something will be edited or is an inconsistency oh yeah and i just like uh, if okay, if he so sure. if he doesn't cut the rope with his saber okay that's a mistake he, he he's doing but not uh yeah not a mistake of the movie or or editing or whatever that's a mistake a character does yeah it just basically uh... Uh, yeah, but like he he's trying to argue that it's about realism. It has nothing to do with realism. This is just a character acting, uh, yeah. acting uh, yeah. stupid when he should. And also, the scene is too fast. But isn't he depending on the rope himself? Uh, I think he like he when he swings from the rope, he swings like too far, and then he starts to go back. If he had cut it, he could just land somewhere where he'd be safe. At least that's what I think. I haven't watched uh, Revenge of the Sith in a while, so there's a chance yeah. he may be wrong. Okay, okay, and the next scene is what? Uh, Were then these all wouldn't have? How did this not absolutely? Oh right, so they are swinging. Yeah, that is swinging. also a problem, guys. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. They're swinging um, beyond each other. So, right? So both are on ropes. Mm -hmm. Do I see that correctly? Oh yeah. So he, so he should have. Uh... He could. He could cut the rope of the other guys. So they like fall he down. could try, but, uh, but wasn't uh, Anakin it... swinging for him? So he he need to uh, defend himself. Yeah, and also, I don't know, uh, he he's playing it too fast, so I can't say it, but just say they could cut each other's rope. Yeah, what would happen if you uh, accidentally hit yourself, your rope, like your own rope? Because a lightsaber is very hot and cuts through things very, very fast, so I don't know if they, if it would be that easy to just cut through your uh, 
the opponent's rope and not hitting yourself yeah, with but, them. Uh, uh, Francine said in chat that he, he was blocking. So yeah, like I said, if he's blocking, then uh, it's not exactly a problem. Yeah, exactly. He has to block. Well, what what is he supposed to do? But yeah, this this <laughs> uh, this other shot now. The, how did this not absolutely destroy Obi Wan's legs for all time? Yeah, it it should have. Uh, it should have. Uh, broken Obi-Wan's legs or something like that. It, uh, it is stupid. I had a problem with it when I was re-watching the prequels recently. So, yeah, okay. it's, it's still a problem. And, uh, I don't it excuse sure. it because uh, Star Wars it doesn't have to be realistic. I uh, <laughs> I just... It, I had a problem with it as well. So, if I did, yeah. then what, uh, what's at AT going to do? Like, it, his argument just goes uh, out the shitter. Oh, hey, Nap. <laughs> yeah, Nap's in chat. I also kind of just think Obi Wan isn't totally intent on killing Anakin until the Eye have failed to exchange. Yeah, I do agree. And even then, he intentionally doesn't kill Anakin in the end. Yeah, he can even bring himself to kill Anakin. He just lets him burn, which, uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, in fairness, that is basically killing him, but just he didn't do it. Yeah, but it's like, uh, if you, like, it's like it's a person who he used to like be his brother apparently, because even though the relationship wasn't really well built, but uh. <laughs> Uh, like if it's uh, someone you care about that much it must be hard to like actually like pull the trigger or just do the last act that will take their life so, yeah uh, yeah I, I can understand him not uh not uh, killing anakin even if anakin does suffer a lot more from it like i know muller does uh, muller and rag say that that scene is stupid but i actually think it's well done oh no it's yeah. because the prequels are bad and they use what aboutism but yeah it's uh it's retarded yeah Okay, continue. Past the true fan test of 2019. Anyway, let's talk about the cinematography and the camera movement, which is directly related to how this scene is all stitched together. And just to be absurd, let's go through each edit in this sequence, and I'm ending it where Kylo tosses the vibroblade staff on the ground at the end. Okay, let's go. Close up of Ray. I just, I find it funny. He, there's a, there are seven minutes uh, left on this video. And he's gonna cover. He said he's going through every single edit in, in the in the scene. Uh, and like Shad's video on this scene had like more. I think it was over an hour just breaking down yeah. how awful it was. And like he's gonna break down how great it is in seven minutes. It's a deep. It's a deep dive and then Star Wars analysis. <laughs> so oh, yeah. analytical. It's yeah. Wow. Very deep. Okay. Close up of Kylo, close up Ray. Wide shot Dolly of the throne room. This shot lasts for 12 seconds. Medium close up of Kylo oh. fighting. Medium shot oh, of. So he is actually going through it like he's describing, okay, this edit. I, I think he means cut, yeah, Neb. But yeah, he's like, uh, each. Uh, he's just describing what happens after every cut. So, wait. Right. What's the point of this? He just say, yes, <laughs> this cut happens, and then this cut happens. What the fuck? He seems to meet each shot. Yeah, I just. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's difficult to to define the terms there. I, I learned them um, recently as well in my university course, but it's sometimes blurry where, when, was, uh, what is what. So it's not as 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 far as I know. Like a shot is, um, a shot is where the camera is basically pointed at, and um, there are. Like if one person is in this shot, it's a one shot. If two persons are in it, it's a two shot, something like that. And then there are cuts and uh, yeah. I don't know. I it, think it, 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 it doesn't it, really matter what he means there. It's just yeah, just so okay. I find it weird calling it an edit because like I don't know if it were if it was a video, minor, I'd call it a shot or a or a cut or something like that. But sure, let's uh, let's continue. Like it's not very necessary; just more of a. It could have been a bit better in this video, but uh, his arguments are still fucking terrible, so it doesn't really change anything. Kylo fighting. Medium shot of Ray being choked. Medium shot of the guards choking Ray from opposite. That's angle. so stupid. Medium shot of Ray escaping the choke, and then it okay. all back out to wide. Wait, wait, wait. We have to pause where he tries to stab her, because okay. that's like literally. It's so stupid. Um, here? Yeah, yeah, right here. So, uh, he just could step her. The, her she, putting she, she could like just the, uh, tr uh, like turn her lightsaber a bit, a bit to the right, and then she'd, uh, she'd uh, cut his arm off. 
No, I'm not. I'm not saying. No, yeah, it's just a, right. another thing. Because like you see, her lightsaber is uh, facing upwards. If she, if a uh, ray turns it a bit to the right, uh, like just tilts it, she'd be able to cut his arm off. Is the is the lightsaber behind or in front of the uh, of his knife thingy? I think it's in the middle. Like, you see these uh, red it's thingies. Like in the it's trapping it. I think. I don't know. It's yeah, because I think it's not. I think it's outside. It's oh, not yeah, in the middle. And, uh, <laughs> of course, the Ray could have just used the force let's as see. well. Let's see. I I will play the scene a bit. Choking okay. Ray from opposite angle. Medium shot it? of Ray escaping yeah, the choke. It, in the it's outside, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not in the middle. I just I just let okay let let's see. Ray from opposite angle. Medium shot of Ray escaping the. No, it's a uh, th that red thingy in the middle of the. Uh, Thing is, like the the closest one to her was a uh, where this lightsaber was trapped, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's yeah, such a weird weapon. I don't get it. I'm no, no. I'm I'm talking. Okay, I'm trying to say <laughs> that he has his knife thingy. Does this? I think the, uh, the the weapon is a neat idea, but um, he has this thing on her. Um, wait, I go back for a second. Um, so I'm on. 224 right now so mm -hmm. you see uh his left arm uh, and the hand on her throat so then you see this uh the sharp knife thingy and then her lightsaber and i think the lightsaber is outside so she's trying to um like like you see that the, she's trying to um push away the knife with her lightsaber pushing uh pushing right from from her view so but the thing is he just could move the uh the knife a bit further and kill her uh, she, there's nothing nothing preventing that if if the lightsaber is in the middle then maybe but it doesn't look like it's in the middle I don't especially know. with the shot afterwards i just I don't know. From here, for me, it seems that it's a uh, it's trapped with the red thing. But I don't know. It's just it's such a weird you weapon. I don't understand correctly. how it works. Looks so stupid. But, but either way, it shouldn't be a problem for her to get out yeah, of this. she has a uh, the force. She could just tilt her lightsaber. She could <laughs> she could do anything. I just I don't understand. And uh, oh yeah, and Neb said the stream seems to be working seamlessly. By the way, so good job, guys. Oh, thank you. But, uh, thank you, Neb. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Neb. Yeah, uh, setting it up was mostly uh, it didn't take <laughs> the right very long. Thing in yeah. the middle of the things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's it's totally logical. Okay. Yeah. So From opposite <laughs> angle, medium shot of Ray escaping the choke, and then it dollies back out to widen up the shot. And oh, then, if but if, if she, okay, if she, how if did she can, do uh, that? If, if she can uh, take her lightsaber out of the 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 thing that was trapping it. Then she could have just done that earlier, like taking it down and stabbing him while doing that. Oh yeah. no! But and also, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. How did she get this her lightsaber up that way? If you if you watch the scene, I have no she, clue, dude. It just I, it's I because it's 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 uh, it's bit. shown. Like it isn't shown. Like a uh, it's a. Uh, a huge shot of Ray escaping the choke and it's out of the screen. Like, there's no way she could have done that work. without chopping her own uh, fucking leg or something like that. Yeah, she can't. She she put a lightsaber down and then suddenly can stab him through the back. That that's not possible. Sorry, that that doesn't work. Oh, is that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> even though now we we find even more problems with this shit. That's stupid. Oh yeah, she hasn't taken it out actually. Oh, she hasn't. Oh fuck! I fuck. No, don't want to see what? this shit again. I clicked it uh, on the wrong part. It's here. So that doesn't she take it out? And it dollies back out to widen up the shot. And then it follows Ray throwing a fire broke. She? Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, did you see? It's a... Uh, Wait, she... Oh, she... she look, just... at the, look at the, the, the part of the lightsaber that's uh, on the other side of the guard. Follows Ray throwing a fire broke. Here, you can see the red thing is still attached to it. So, yeah, she didn't take it out. So if she did have that, so she just the, moved it upwards or what? Yeah, if, if she did have the maneuverability, she could have just, like I said, tilted the lightsaber a bit to her right when she was trapped, and she would have cut the guard's arm off. Or she could have just used the force, like any force user would have done. Okay, but okay, so 
it, it's stupid. Okay, so but but now she she it it looked like he she stabbed him, but apparently she moved upwards the the lightsaber and cut through his like. Um, oh yeah, like if 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 he was um, still attached, if that? he was still attached to the to the to the guard's uh, weapon, then she wouldn't have been able to stab him. She would have cut him through. But we see that she stabbed like. It, it, no, it, it, it looks. It, it I I looked at it again. It, it looks like he she just moved upwards the the blade. Um, Guards choking Ray from opposite angle. Medium shot of Ray escaping she the choke. Puts it down and back out to watch. Yeah, she oh, just no, puts okay, it yeah. up. She she, yeah. she so she uh, tries to cut him, and he dies, probably or uh, maybe from that. Um, so it looks stupid either way, but. But she's cutting now him with an upwards um, motion, and we know like she doesn't have any weight behind it. It's not her strength she's using there. Okay. Um, you see that the way she moves, she doesn't use the strength to. I mean, she can't use her strength. She's probably well, she probably is like a hundred pounds. She's <laughs> exactly so, and she cuts through that easily. But later we see um, that. The guards can block uh, Kylo's um, lightsaber, just just blocking it, and he can can't go through them. He he only goes through them when he stabs them. And normally, I would say like in in like with medieval weaponry and armor, um, just because like you can use a spear to to pierce an, uh, armor doesn't mean you can slash through the armor with a spear. So obviously, some things will be different. But he's um, here in the scene. You see that uh, lightsaber could cut through the or slash through the armor easily, but later Kylo can't. It's, it doesn't make sense. Oh, it's like, <laughs> like Neb said in chat that uh, it works however they need it to work. It's just you, you can't actually know how it works. It's a uh, it's strange. Yeah, like uh, there are no rules for this. Um, let me. Okay, so... Okay, now we can finally move on to the next shot. Widen up the shot. And it follows Ray throwing a vibro blade that hits the other side of the throne room. Oh. Catching... What? Huh? huh? What? The, the thing continues attached after she fucking kills the guard, but she can throw it out like that? Couldn't she have just done something like that when she was trapped? Uh, not a... Uh, fuck's sakes. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> it's so stupid. So we just detached. And by the way... Yeah, I just... Um... I really don't get it. We were talking about the set design. Why the fuck is the wall red? It, because it looks neat. Ah, right. Because <laughs> red. Yes, because red. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Because fiend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, the guards look red. Snoke is kind of red. The dark side is red. So therefore, everything has to be red. That looks stupid. I don't know. The I, wall just, I think it looks interesting as a, like, just purely visual, but, uh, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but, but it's it, like saying that's like that's like taking a toilet and like building it with uh, gold and and other stuff, like making it really really beautiful. It would still be a shit toilet. So I, they yeah, it looks good in a sense, but it doesn't make any sense in this context here. So I <laughs> like what Neb said. Uh, because you don't want the viewer to e to easily be able to tell what's going on, so we have the fighters blend in. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, so the choreography, the bad choreography, isn't as apparent. That's actually a pretty genius move by uh, Ryan Johnson. And you people say he's a bad uh, writer. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fire. Medium shot of Ray. Medium shot of the guard who breaks his staff in two sections. Medium oh, shot no. of Ray in her battle cry. Medium shot of the guard approaching so Ray stupid. and the blades make contact. Match cut to. Okay. He, like, let me just rewind a bit because he had he he separated the the thing. Shot of Ray in her battle cry. Medium and shot look, of. He he. What do you think he's gonna do? Is because is he's telegraphing his uh. Uh, his right hand a lot, so it's clear he's gonna use it. So you think he's gonna do that to let her uh, to let make Ray leave her guard open so he can stab her with the uh, uh, weapon in his left arm? But he, the his guard left hand, but he, Ray and then he the just doesn't make do contact. Match. And I'm pretty sure that is the one. That, that's the 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 blade that disappears, isn't it? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah, it would make sense because he has the two things. But, so okay, but go back because there's more to unravel there. Oh, of course um, there is. So, so, okay, so we have the medium shot where, where he breaks his uh, uh, knife and so, or his sword or whatever and just stands there for a second instead of like doing that while moving to her or something. Then we have the medium shot of her making the battle cry. It's so like you see this, and it's so cringy. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why by, should by the way, he? Where are the, the other guards? Because I'm pretty sure there was a lot more in a. They fight against Kylo or whatever. But mm. but she's like um, swinging around her sword like she would be in a an a uh, revolver in, in in Wild West or something like spinning it around and rah, and and you're like ah, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck. And and then after that he shows that uh, give me a second so they um I, I, I play it and then stop right uh, stop playing it I am doing it of the guard who breaks so, his staff in two sections medium they, shot of Ray in her battle medium cry. shot of her medium battle shot of the guard and then they move to, uh, you see them moving towards each other and you see him um attacking with the with with his uh, right hand. With uh, like he moves up the uh, he moves the um, arm upwards to meet her uh, lightsaber. Oh yeah, that's so he cool. doesn't try to attack her. He tries to attack her. No, yeah, lightsaber. and like both of them are telegraphing a lot. If this guard was actually uh, at least somewhat decent, what he do is uh, he's seen that she she's telegraphing to go like this. Um, I'm exactly. Signaling on screen like from here to here. Then he could have just. Uh, went to like went to his left, dodged the lightsaber and killed Ray, or like what he did. What I was talking about that he stops a lightsaber and then he kills her with his left uh, hand, uh, the arm, the the weapon that is in yeah. his left hand. So yeah, it is. But instead, they are fighting like they don't want to hit each other, and that's so prevalent in this um in the scene. It's it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, Neb, if you're still in chat, if you'd like to make a thumbnail for the for uh, this stream after, uh, so I can use it when I re-upload it to the Ecom channel, that'd be great. So. All right, we're making a channel. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love what Neb said. Marcus, but if you tried that, the knife would suddenly vanish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds Oops. about right. Shit. <laughs> Oh, um... Yeah, looks, just... Looks more, looks, look. Yeah. Should we buy that? Mm-hmm. Mm. I will, I'm AFK for a second. No, oh, sorry. Uh, let's take a look at chat for a bit. We'll do. Okay, thanks, Nab. Uh, yeah, we are making an ecom channel, so uh, I can re-upload everything after, uh, after I stream. But... Uh, I just woke up. <laughs> How that happens? Uh, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna need like a banner and a <laughs> and a uh, like an icon for the YouTube channel as well. But you know, we, we can talk about that later. Um, let's just see. How long have we been streaming? One hour and eight minutes, and we are almost three minutes into the video. That sounds about right. But I do think you're talking a bit too much, uh, Tin. You need to calm down there. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk however the hell I want, damn it! <laughs> okay. Let me. Okay, uh, Soapy is still AFK, right? Yeah, apparently he is. Should we wait for him or just move on to watching the video? Uh, let's say we wait for a minute, see if he comes back by then. Okay then. So, let's see if you, I can make you talk for a bit, Tin. Uh, what do you think of TLJ? Summarize your thoughts in a... It's fucking shit. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, I was hoping you'd elaborate a bit more, but yeah, it is shit. If you want, I'll elaborate more. Okay, then. 
it as Sam Witwer put, it's it's like Ryan Johnson tried to make a good Star Wars movie, but he didn't do do enough homework. Like he tried to make it as unique as possible, but then he just made it really, 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 really shit. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, let me here. Yeah, uh, I actually used to like TLJ when I first watched it. Unfortunately, I don't anymore, but yeah. Yeah, so it, uh, I was like a proper Disney shill back in 2017 to 20, tw 2019, I think. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't until... I was until like 2018 after I... Uh, I watched... Uh, after I, uh, I watched like a bunch of videos breaking down TLJ, I realized, holy fuck, this is awful. And I, because of uh, the Disney remakes, I started to hate them a lot more, especially because of The Lion King, which is my favorite Disney movie. And uh, yeah, I, I was really upset over that. And I still need to make a rant about it in my channel at some point, just how much I hate it. But uh, yeah, YMS is making a video on it that it seems like it's going to be pretty fun. Okay, I had Empire on yesterday and was just like, for fuck's sake, this is so effortlessly good. Yeah, it's uh, it sucks to watch uh, these old films when compared to the standards we have nowadays for what uh, good stuff is. Like uh, I watched Hereditary a few days ago when I was talking to Thought Theater about it. And I was just like, why can't all uh, <laughs> all movies nowadays be as good as this? Like, why or do we have to turn to A24 and these indie filmmakers to actually watch good films instead of just having this like mainstream stuff being good like it used to be? It's like mainstream now. What the the what I call like the best thing is is a uh, Marvel when they're still like making some very shit content currently. So you know. So I, 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 I just saw the beam in the in the in the, in the seven. <laughs> yeah, let me show it here. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is amazing. Okay, let me just. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Matheus has been coming out with a bunch of great uh, memes. Well done. Team was the real <laughs> y'all hear something all along. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Soapy, you're back, right? Yes. Okay, so can we continue the video? Sure. And their blades make contact. Match cut to Kylo Ren. B-roll shot of the guard being thrown into an energy well. Medium shot of Kylo Ren pointing his blade. Close up of Kylo Ren's face. Medium shot of guards with camera tracking movement. Wait. Why would the guard do that? I know, I know. It's he just wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't do that. Nobody would do that. But that, he did that's do in that. a. <laughs> uh -huh. Nobody would. Sorry, but no, it's stupid. He, like Kylo, is looking the opposite of him. He could just go, like, sneaking up to him and stabbing him into the back, uh, in the back. But no, he's yeah, doing uh, a well, like, the, standoff a... move. Like, I don't understand. He has that w weapon, but the other guards have that different weapon with the the one that, like, uh, it's that grab, grabs laser, razor lightsaber. So, I don't, I don't know. This is pretty strange. I don't get it. I uh, don't get how this fight works at all. Okay. Yeah. Close up of Kylo. Wide shot of Kylo and the guards in the foreground, and then it pans and zooms over to Ray's battle. Close up of. I don't get why it did that. Well, any uh, like here. Let me go back. Here. Round and then a pan. Like you see, there's this guard here. Like I don't. I don't. I don't get the positioning. Like he is he. What's he doing? Like this, this guard here on the right. It, like is he trying to? Is he waiting to attack Kylo? Is he just chilling there? I don't get what's going on there. <laughs> I, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. And there's all, like, Kylo is clearly just paying attention over there, and the guard behind Kylo could have just, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> attacked him. But, okay. Hands and zooms over his battle. Close up of Kylo Ren's face. Wide Attacking. shot of Kylo flourishing. Yeah, wait, why didn't they? Wait, wait, wait. It, did, does he just cut from. What? And zooms over to Ray's battle. Close up of Kylo Ren's face. Wide shot of Kylo. Oh, that. What the. F okay, so like uh, Kylo attacks the guy, uh, the guy who was behind him, and apparently his weapon works like the the guy who had the the weapon that was attacking uh, Ray. So he could have just attacked from a distance, uh, Kylo, and killed him. 
but he didn't for some reason. And like, it, this is such a harsh cut, like uh, from 21 to 22. Close up of Kylo Ren's Here. face. Why and then he just starts attacking like that. Like, it, doesn't it seem yep. weird? He's just standing That's there and then he attacks the guy behind him. It's he he has to turn around for that. So he already has to be turned around, turned around. And yeah, like you also said, the guards didn't attack him. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> this is <laughs> the choreography is so bad. It's amazing. Kylo flourishing around the guards. He fucking hit the ground as he takes one of them out. Wide shot tracking with Ray also, fighting wait, the guard. Sorry. Match cut. Um. Oh, okay. So uh... I, I have to go back a bit um, because I wanted to say something there. So here, uh, the guard who's now attacking uh, Kylo is swinging around like a ballerina or something. <laughs> Why doesn't he just go there and attack? Why, why does he swing around? Swinging around doesn't make sense ever. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, not not <laughs> ever. In 99% in of the cases, it doesn't make sense to spin. Oh, yeah. Shad said that a lot in his video, just that <laughs> this, this, these people spinning around so much, it really doesn't make sense. So stupid. Nobody fights like that. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty strange. I don't get it. Guards as he takes one of them out. Wide shot tracking with Ray fighting the guard. Match cut to medium shot of Ray being kicked why? down. Why kick her? Just stab her with the fucking weapon in her left Extend hand. Me. What the fuck? Uh, I, this is, I don't get it. Uh, this is so weird. Uh, okay. Medium shot of Ray getting off the ground. Wide shot of... What? Did you see? Okay. This... Uh, this... Uh, look at her swinging motion here. It's ground. So Wide retarded. shot of... Like, she, she swings <laughs> it so open that now she leaves all her right side open. Like here. Shot of Ray being kicked down. Mm -hmm. Medium shot of Ray getting off the ground. There. Oh, fuck. I, yeah. I'm going to shoot. Stop. Medium shot of Ray getting off the ground. Why? Yeah, I couldn't stop on the right second. But, like, she leaves all her right side open. The guy could have just went for it. It just, he doesn't. And and also, this is, um, like, not in, um, not in the scene, the problem, but in general, mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm just reminded of it. Um, you know when, when like bad guys uh, have the heroes uh, down somewhere and they just need to stab them, and what they do is like uh, taking the weapon way up uh, above of them, and then like cutting down or, or trying to stab them. Then, and the hero has like ten seconds time to um, to escape that. Mm. Why are they just not like? Why why are they always swinging? Why are they always? Um, like uh, I don't know how it's called in English, but but they they take the time, they swing, want to like, yeah, I, I get when they want to um, put more strength into uh, into the hit. Oh, yeah, but that's um, it is. I can see it when you when you have like a baseball bat or something. Mm -hmm. But if you have a sword, you don't have to to. Uh, Put much strength in uh, oh, yeah, behind yeah, it, especially if, if with the with this in, in Star Wars, because a lightsaber it fuck, you can fucking kill someone just by touching it in their skin, you, like it exactly. burns everything. And this weapon apparently is as it, it can uh, withstand a, a lightsaber strike, so it's probably just as strong. So why just telegraph so much? It's, a, it's just so because uh, uh, fuck, I forgot the name of Kylo's actor. Fuck, he's a good, good actor. Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley, just so they can uh, do the stunts without having like st st stunt doubles to do the, the choreography. Yeah. Wide shot of Kylo Ren fighting the two remaining guards. <laughs> <laughs> That's been out of nowhere. It's so fucking weird. Like, Ren see the, this fighting guy the two here. remaining he's, guards. He spins because why not? <laughs> yeah, and, and then why is Kylo using the spear to block the other spear instead of just using his lightsaber to block and maybe ramming the spear into the guard? I don't... I don't know, <laughs> Second medium wide shot of Kylo Ren taking on the guards. A medium and wide again, shot of... And again... Sorry. the blade disappear? Uh, yeah. You just look at the left hand there. I'm sorry, I... Use your fucking... Uh, why do you um, spin? You have a spear stab. Yeah, I don't get why someone would spin. So so here on 322, mm. um, for a second you see here again, 
Um, let me let me play it. Oh wait. Don't. A medium okay. wide shot of Ray swinging at the remaining guard. Pause. And the camera is also. I have to go back a few seconds. So. Right. Um. Okay. So. Can I play it oh, without you, and, or is it? Oh no! But fucking he's up? trying to downplay the knife, even though he'll spend like the first two minutes of his video just talking about the knife <laughs> and how it's not a problem because Star Wars isn't realistic. So, you know and how it because is. Because it happens in other stuff as well. Yes, good old what about okay. him? Exactly, but but look at this scene here for a second. Okay. I'm trying to play it. I have played. Two second medium wide shot of Kylo Ren taking on the cards. So a medium wide every, shot. Every of... every thing here he does in this in this um, little sequence, you see that he doesn't attack the person. He does attack the weapon. Oh yeah, That's... it is so annoying to see. It's it's just like they don't fight each other. They fight against a like. It, it looks like they're trying to get a fly or something in the air, <laughs> trying to, to hit this, uh, this thing and accidentally touch with their weapons. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the like fight choreography that, uh, that it only, like, the only way it works is if the, like, they fight trying to, uh, to go for the weapons cause, so the actors can actually do the, the stunts so it just it looks so much worse yeah. like if it was a stunt double it would have been much better uh, yeah yeah and uh oh here if you guys look at a uh, on the stream if you guys look at a at her right arm with the lightsaber it's look at what she does she traps her own arm there Ray swing at the remaining guard she 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 like she leaves her arm there but she, she still has a way to get it out like it's not trapped it it's so it strange. looked like they are hacking each other. Yeah, I, it's. She. <laughs> I really look uh, This is so retarded. I remember that that was the uh, best, um, the best performance she could deliver. Oh, she, we still have six minutes left, and we've already been live for like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I have realized what that's uh, that. What's great about the objective crew is that they're like all of it matters, but the opposition is like only a small portion of it matters. Oh yeah, uh, like uh, people who are just like everything is subjective. They'll tr go to any lengths to uh, defend this stuff, which is a, a very stupid, if you ask me. But whatever, they were hugging each other. Can confirm. Yeah, they they were. The camera is also revolving around. Look, she, her arm can <laughs> she can just slide off her arm like she, it's not trapped there. Yeah, it's a. Uh, she's just has left leaves her arm there, so she so they can get the payoff. Like I said earlier, they get the payoff for her, for her dropping her lightsaber and stabbing with her other hand, which she could have just you know swung the lightsaber here, like it's on her hand. She could have just done something like that. Uh, oh shit! Uh, there's another meme. <laughs> Great one. <laughs> uh, let me get it. It's here. Let me show it on stream. Into the Nazi first, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay. On Ray. Close Kylo with the blade near his face. Close up with. Use the force, you fucking retard. Ah, uh, she can also spin her wrist. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, like, if she could just spin her wrist <laughs> and then uh, cut the. and then kill the guard or something like that. And uh, uh, it's so stupid. That is not how arms work, Ryan, but it is, so whatever. But look at this, uh, 29. Of he could have just used the force here to uh, <laughs> to help himself, but they need to get the, the payoff of uh, Ray throwing him the lightsaber and him killing the guy uh, behind yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, strategy and techniques are gay. Uh, what even is good choreography? It's just subjective, it's all subjective. Couldn't they just... Like, they could have just him... Uh, making him use the force to push away the guard and uh, maybe into the ball and then grabbing the lightsaber and but if he, killing if he him. used the force then it would, would just hi highlight that they, that they haven't used the force so far and it would have been pretty sure, useful for sure. them to do that's another uh, that's the thing with with uh, things like this if what i said before with um the scene uh where um luke sky uh luke's <laughs> lightsaber cut through darth vader said you can Fix this so easily, but if you try to fix the phone, phone room fight, 
every time you try to fix something, it makes other things worse. Oh yeah, it's basically <laughs> basically so, the sequel trilogy. If you try to change one thing in the writing, then you just fuck it up even more. Exactly. <laughs> and le- <laughs> that mentioned not to mention he could just push the guy. He has legs. Yeah, but legs are subjective. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you ableist? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all. The blade near his face. Close up with Ray with the blade near her face. Use the force, you retard. Look, look how free her arm, her arm is, her right arm. You yeah. see that? Why is she not? <laughs> just... Holy shit! Why couldn't she just? Oh my god, this is so stupid. How can someone defend this? And he's just going through shot by shot, and I really don't get <laughs> what he's doing. Like, uh... hmm. He's just saying what happens without any no, in the, qualification. He's the type of pe- person who would uh, who'd say that Mahler is the one who does this. Just, oh, he goes through the plot and it just he doesn't add anything. But no, like Mahler, he adds commentary during it. Like he hasn't had a, com- a commentary. He's just literally seeing what happens on screen and not even mentioning, yeah. and he's not mentioning how terrible it is. He's just mentioning like surface level. There's a low angle medium. Of Ray dropping the saber, then there's a medium wide shot. Wait, stuff like what the fuck? No, look, what? no, that's no. I hadn't even noticed that before. And you're seeing the the guard's right hand, like Ray uh, dropped. She got her lightsaber. The guard's right hand is up with the knife still. Now look at the next dropping shot. Dropping the saber, yeah. then there's a medium. The, he his hand is down. So if if he could <laughs> yeah. just uh, he if he could if he could have lowered his hand, he could have uh, he could have stabbed Ray while she was in front of him. I, yes. like, I never noticed that before, but that's so stupid. <sighs> <laughs> no, this is making me mad because I'm noticing uh, more mistakes than I than uh, I had before. Yeah. It's so so bad. Every time you talk about DLJ, you find more problems. Did you um, just a short segue? Did you see Smart Boys um, serious uh, blah 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 problems with the Last Shadow? No. Any. I saw some of his videos, uh, not not everything, but like he he made the first video like ten problems with uh, the Last Jedi and listed some stuff, and then he did another video with with um, with another number of, of problems, and I was like, hey, why is he doing like a second thing and not part one, part two, or whatever? Um, but yeah, he he every once in a while he released a video with even more problems, and every time you like sometimes when when he mentioned the problem, I was like. Wait, this this makes another thing another <laughs> problem, and every time, and also on Eva when they talk about it, you you always find another problem with this fucking movie. This yeah. is like uh, outside like of the, the the movie is a masterpiece of bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Like uh, outside outside of uh, of the 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 fucking fight in TROS where Ray fights the those guards that are uh, with a. Uh, there were like the Fendi Palpatine or some shit where that scene like it happens twice. I, I don't know if you saw BSA Sitch's video on it, but it's hilarious because like they use the same scene twice, just different angles. And uh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Outside of, of that, like I'd say the throne room fight is the worst uh, fight scene I've seen yeah. on, a, <laughs> on a film, and it's amazing because like you, you imagine Star Wars with the Disney budget. Uh, <laughs> coming out in 2017, 2019, you'd think they they'd be able to make it good with the f- like being able with the budget they have and the the amount. Of I have to have. okay. I look it up now. Uh, you know the raid movies. Uh yeah. So the raid one uh, like the first one is not particularly good story wise, and the actors are kind of nah, but the action is great and. It was. Uh, let me see. Can I yeah, see? Yeah, I haven't it? seen the, the, the uh, films yet, but I have heard the the. the, the watch the, them. Uh, the I I saw the second raid in in theater and was uh, like like I said, the story is not great uh, that much. The writing is not the best, but uh, the action scenes are so fucking well made. And let me see. I wanted to see the budget of this movie. I guess there was an editing mistake. Maybe there was a block scene or something. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a, it's one hundred percent a continuity mistake because his arm was, was up uh, here. Let me rewind a bit. Here. Yeah, normally here, his arm is those... upwards, and then the next shot, like a, a second later, he his arm was down here. <laughs> so like. Not only could he uh, could he have swung his knife to Ray, he just uh, he just stays there like oh guess I'll die. Yeah. I want to know what 
What the part of those movies? Um... <laughs> of course it's editing, it's all editing. The shots, the cuts, the cinematography, it's all editing. It is, after all, counting the edits right now. Oh yeah, there have been a total of 32 edits in uh, <laughs> in this fight scene. Just <laughs> I don't know how he counts it, but I guess he, he's just uh, evolved as a critic. Oh, uh, let me see, I'm stagged again. Oh, damn. I wanted to look up uh, what the budget of the raid one and two were, but oh, I can look it up here if you want. Significantly, significantly lower. Than, oh, yeah, I, uh, of than course, it's a, movie. it's a Star Wars movie in, uh, by, made by Disney. Yeah, and, and and that's the thing that they have so little money and can hire a good choreographer. And okay, the actors are mostly martial art artists, but seriously. Give your Daisy Ridley like a month to to train properly, and she will she can do the stuff. Uh, uh, what is well, the raid? Let me see. It's the raid redemption. And okay, the who made show, this? Right? Okay, the raid redemption had a budget of a budget of oh fuck why can I? Uh, it's not here in the fucking box office movie. Oh and and the uh the writing is better than until uh Tito Chang. oh yeah I, I mean it's hard not to be <laughs> yeah but um so apparently 1.1 made... million dollars it's uh how much the rate redemption how much 1.1 million yeah with 1.1 million they made a not yeah. like uh, such a good movie for that budget and for for the uh yeah, for the thing that's try to do they have talent and the In second one was 4.5 to... million so like, yeah. <laughs> so sad. Um, but anyway, the meme. Uh, whoever made it, like, why, why are you making grammar errors like that? I don't like that. Uh, oh, I, I, uh, I throw it, it away. Yeah, uh, it's a, uh, it's Matthews. He's Brazilian. Uh, give him, cut him some slack. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it, it makes it funnier. Oh yeah. I threw, yeah, I threw it, it a, away. <laughs> it's, some, it's just something I notice often on it. My brain is like, nah, you can't overlook that. So, <laughs> okay, be pretty, uh, okay yeah. let's continue, continue this abortion of a video. In wide shot, reverse yeah. angle of Ray slicing at the Praetorian Guard. Medium shot of Ray turning to see Kylo. Close up of Kylo struggling. Close up of Ray struggling. putting his saber to Ben. Why is wide he struggling? Shot. Hmm? Why is he I, don't, I don't know. He, de he decides not to do anything. I, I don't get why. Ray throwing the saber, and then the and camera pans to follow the saber. Close up yeah. of Ben catching okay. the saber, he turns it off and Wait. on, and then alt close up. I noticed another thing here. Oh, of sorry. course, you did because he throws, he throws the thing with the sword extended, um, and then it flies Wait, to him, and it's not extended anymore. She does, didn't even notice that. Yeah, so if you close up of Ray throwing froze, the saber to Ben, that's the oh, yeah. shot of Ray throwing the saber, and then, and then the camera... it turns it turns and off as it's as it's on the air. It like... Turns off, <laughs> it's yeah, exactly. So she doesn't hit the button. That's not probably. how lightsaber works. Like uh, the, they, the lightsaber it turns off if you press the button well. again. Oh, that's so stupid. And also, if you <laughs> if you launch that thing into the air with a with the sword extended, the the this thing will spin. It won't land where it lands or in, in the oh, shot. Oh yeah, like a, it's a will, it's very different. Spin too much. If it, uh, if it does have the the lightsaber turned on, I think I don't know. Yeah. Is it is a the lights the like the saber part of the lightsaber? Is it a is it weightless or something? Like, just maybe it's it not is. Weight, it's plasma, mm. but plasma is not weightless. Yeah. If the cartoon doesn't matter, then why even still have Kylo in a chokehold? It all goes to the wind. Yeah, just if it's a like if it's not too egregious, they don't care about continuity. But uh, if it yeah. is, it's just yeah. Or even if it isn't, and like people defend this film because reasons. Super. <sighs> why not? Have I Snow have... come back if continuity doesn't matter. Yeah, pretty much. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to say like uh, why does it would have been way cooler if he didn't just catch the uh, the lightsaber but like force pulled pulled it to him, but then we have the second problem that why doesn't he use the force at all? So yeah, yeah, oh yeah. This is the force. <laughs> every time I want to make this every time I want to make the phone uh, phone room battle better or interesting in some way, 
it fucks up with the whole thing. Oh yeah, it's basically uh, <laughs> yeah we'd uh, we'd have to remake this scene completely to actually make it work. But then if I if I were able to remake the scene, I'd remake the entire film. But that's beside the point. <laughs> You have to make. You have to remake yeah, the entire trilogy. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's true. <sighs> All right. Follow the saber. Close up of Ben catching the saber. He turns it off. I also like how he called the uh, Kylo Ben. <laughs> just I don't know. I just uh, I find it weird. People do that. Like oh, this is Ben not... because he's working with Ray. Oh, look how 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 cool it is. Like he's turning to the light side again. And just like. But he's not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, stupid. Off and on, and then alt close up angle of Ben as the guard falls to the floor dead. Finally, we have a wide shot of Kylo Ren standing up and he tosses the guard's blade. Now, okay, so it was a wow. <laughs> it was a total of uh, 39 edits, whatever an edit means. Why don't they use the force? Yeah. It's just an overarching problem with the whole scene. Can't wait for ATAT to bring that up. Uh, yeah, you can definitely bet that he'll bring that up now. 100%. Screenshot of my time. Okay, what's the point of having the screen? If you're keeping track, that is about 39 edits. <laughs> He's using the word edits no again. Shit. This is so funny. This is like 39 edits. I'm pretty sure. What? The, whatever. Just. Is it good? Is it bad? What? What doesn't 39 mean? Okay. What Ryan Johnson did with this entire idea and the sequence was to create a sense of. Okay. Okay. Of course, he he put something on screen. Yeah. Thank <sighs> you. RJ and Yedling. Yedling, I imagine, is a choreographer, and RJ is Ryan Johnson. Prefer long takes, allowing the dolling camera to bring us towards or away from the action. Yeah, they do prefer long takes, which is why the longest take is like, what, 12 seconds or 15 seconds? Like, if you see it's stuff well, that is actually well so. done, in like, uh, Daredevil, every take. season it has like a one cut fight scene, uh, a hallway fight scene. Yeah. And in season three, it is 11 minutes long without a single cut. But yeah, they, yeah. Uh, Ryan Johnson is the one who prefers long takes. Or just like even yeah. in episode one of Legion, uh, there's a yes, I am missioning Legion. Uh, there's a oh, of course you're bringing up Legion. <laughs> there's a scene by the end of the episode that is one minutes and twelve seconds long, and it doesn't have a single cut, and it's actually very well done. Like I go, I break down the choreography in, uh, in my critique, and it's a very good scene. Like it, this is a scene that have that has thirty nine cuts, and uh, and like he's the longest take is like 15 or 12 seconds or whatever and he's saying oh they prefer yeah. long takes but they don't the, the takes are so short and they just there are continuity mistakes there are choreography mistakes there's so much wrong they are longer than in taken but like even in in action scenes in mission impossible or something they uh the fight scenes and whatever have longer takes than this shit no. I mean, I just uh, my my problem it. isn't exactly with the fact that it it uh, it, it like he's saying that a uh, uh fuck I forgot what I was gonna say but you're like uh how like I don't see a problem with something having a lot of a lot of cuts or edits <laughs> as he says but uh yeah. but like he he's saying like oh they prefer long takes but they don't as he he just showed they don't prefer long takes like it's just wrong. The longest take, he said, uh, that the that that shot, that white shot where it shows uh, Kylo and uh, Ray fighting back to back, it's twelve seconds. I'm pretty sure there's another one where he mentioned was fifteen seconds. That's the longest it is. So, ugh. <laughs> uh, oh, Neb is asking where to put m uh, meme. Uh, just go to the memes section and on uh, on our server and tag me on it so I can uh, show it on. on yeah. The <laughs> on the screen okay so okay rj and yet okay they prefer long takes and uh, allowing the allowing to dolly the camera to bring us towards or away from the action yeah okay so now let's pay attention to what he says with this entire idea and the sequence was to create a sense of space or lack thereof with the camera moving in and out around kylo and ray in various ways no right so well, okay okay, oh, okay. so he he literally so. he mentioned there are 39 shots and then he says, the camera it dollies away and towards the, the, the characters, which it, which does something. But couldn't he use a, an example to make it explicit? Because, like, I, I don't believe that's okay. what he, he, that's anything, to, like, that has anything to do with what the, what Ryan just was trying to do. I just think, like, he was 
like it's some normal camera movements i don't think like giving a sense of space because like, i i don't know exactly how that throne room uh works it's so weird it's it's so uh like uh, I, like it, it, like he says, it creates a sense of space. But do you actually know what the geography of that throne room is? Because every time I uh, like I, I, with every different shot of those thirty nine or, or each I one of their know. those thirty nine edits, so. like it seems like a different place. Like I don't know, we just yeah. It, I can never grasp where they are in the room because it seems so weird. Exactly. Yeah. And also, like Nep said, and I wanted to point it out, uh, create a sense of space or lack thereof. So. Oh, yeah, it yeah, make of sense. course it does both then, okay, what does that mean for me? Yeah, like if you create, like, is he saying that uh, if you bring, no, I don't get it. Because like, if, if to create yeah, a sense the, of space the, would be to make the audience understand the geography or of, of where the characters are. But if you, like, I, uh, what he means by, or like thereof, mm -hmm. probably is because of a, uh, of like how the, if the camera gets close to the characters to like make us feel claustrophobic or something like that. But I, I still don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I, I have nothing. He only has five yeah, minutes it's, left. Yeah, uh, it's, it's strange. Uh, the way he says is like, it, that's like saying, um, in uh, like the camera shows characters on the screen or not. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> so, but but. Uh, what does that mean? Yeah, it uses both. Okay, and that's good. How and like it would be great when he said uh, it uses the camera thing to to show the sense of space, and then I would like yeah okay I can see why you are saying that, mm -hmm. but saying both. Uh, yeah, okay, it does. <laughs> that's that's <super. laughs> uh, Okay. Let's see what his next point is. Of course, there are a wide array of shot types to tell the story of this particular sequence. Link, why couldn't you point out what each shot tells us as you were pointing out that what the shots were? Like it would have made the, the video way more, it would have made the video make sense. Like you just spent two minutes saying this shot happens and then this shot happens. Like if you could, if you would have explained uh, what you were, which we're seeing now, after each shot, you'd have evidence to back up your points, and you'd uh, you'd actually make that part of the video not useless. So, yeah, maybe try to do that next time, you fucking retard. <laughs> uh, I hate this. <laughs> okay, fuck, I forgot you. Wait a second, there's another meme now from AVCB. <laughs> More rose, yeah. The last thing. <laughs> Stop with the last thing. <laughs> okay, let me. Okay. Because that would be long. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't make a video oh, that is longer bad. than ten minutes. You can't talk longer about the throne room <laughs> battle than than the scene itself is. But he does so. Get far. We're, we're only two. We're only we're only two hours in, and we've only talked about five minutes of a video. <laughs> that's yeah, that's why we we chose a small video today. Because <laughs> imagine yeah. if it was a big one. But <laughs> I like what yeah. Nick Brown said in the chat. There's a lot of shot types that tell the story. Yes, eighty eighty chat. That's what a movie is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like uh, that's what a like each type of shot it should tell the story of its own, uh, with like how it works into the story, and. And uh, like AT AT chat, it said yes. The these shots they tell a story of their own, but he didn't explain it. He didn't elaborate. He didn't use the evidence that he had because he was he mentioned every single edit, as he says. So why didn't he do that when he was talking about the edits? That's ah. Uh, if you guys don't get it, I, I I don't like this video. Not not a lot. But it's one of the most elegant <laughs> and restrained lightsaber battles that has been filmed ever. Wait well, wait wait. wait. What an restraint is Shot said. types to tell the story of this particular sequence. But it's one of the most elegant and restrained. Elegant and restrained. Elegant! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, you elegant? <laughs> if you make tin lose his mind like that, you know, it, it's not bad. It's not good. Yeah. It just. <laughs> <laughs> I just. It, it, he says, like, uh, such a video essay tone. It's the most elegant and uh, restrained lightsaber fight. You just. Can you just explain, elaborate what you're saying, you fucking dumbass? No. Because elaboration is evil. 
<laughs> it, has, it, it even starts with the same letter. Oh, but so. y- you, <laughs> you know uh, what Michael B says in, uh, on Twitter that uh, like if you have to use uh, evidence to back up your point, then it's not objective. So, you know. Who said that? Michael B. You know the Iron Boy Junior guy. <laughs> Oh no, he, he actually said that. Oh yeah. god, not him, anyone oh, but guys, him. You have no idea the shit I've been through talking to him, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, I blocked him. Uh, ah, yeah, no, I, 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 I follow him and he follows me, it's pretty it's pretty fun. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do this. Now I need a meme uh, with Spixru and Michael B hand in hand, walking together. <laughs> Could you, it could be Some really, of these uh, uh, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It'll be perfect. Yes. Trained <laughs> light battles that has been filmed ever. While at the same time, no. why didn't you elaborate? For fuck's sake! Ah, uh, <laughs> this he just says a sentence, a statement. He's just like, yeah, it's true. But is it though? Can can you elaborate so that we know that it's actually true? It it would at least make me feel a lot better if you did AT AT. Yeah, at <sighs> least substantiate your wrong statement. <laughs> yeah, at least you try to wrong. make them it's right. Be wrong. Yeah, try to to bring evidence. Try to um yeah, try to explain why you think it, and then we can say, okay, that's wrong because of that or that. But now we have to say it's wrong, but we can't even tackle anything because he didn't say anything. Yeah, I like uh, what uh, on Discord, what Lord Dean said. Uh, that's all these videos are, broad strokes, no broad, broad strokes, no citations or elaboration in an informed said. I, uh, as Muller says, it, it only looking at trees for the forest because can look at too much at uh, the rotten termites. It, yeah, you just you look at what the surface level stuff is instead of actually looking what makes the the entire picture work. And uh, okay. and uh, what you said about uh, evidence is also one of the reasons why I dislike ER's video on uh, on Life is Strange because he doesn't back up his points. Uh, yeah. Uh, Neb, because you want to sound vague and inspiring, that's how videos SAB. Oh yeah, that's uh, it's awesome, I love that. Like, uh, Fringy, he made a video essay that's five minutes long, he posted it, what was it, yesterday or the day before? And like, it, in five minutes he explained his point and actually used uh, examples to prove it. And it's, it's like, in five minutes he could do, he could talk so much, like, he, there was so much content in those five minutes. And uh, this video is worth five minutes, four minutes and a half in, and he hasn't like substantiated his points. He's just saying stuff there. It's like, oh, this is my thesis. Like he's said a bunch of uh, thesis, but he hasn't backed up any of them yet. And, uh, I don't think he will, to be honest, but yeah. Oh, oh and uh, Neb made a meme. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a good, that's that's a good one. <sighs> okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna finish this video at some point. It's gonna it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Feeling so relentless in its energy. Okay, yep. wait. Something on screen. Of course, there's something to read on screen. Uh, my yeah. favorite detail of this fight is Kylo Ren's lightsaber leaving marks all over the ground. Okay. okay uh, how about the choreography though? Are you not gonna talk about that like at all? Because like. And it's a fight scene, and you still haven't talked about the choreography at all. Maybe when the best part of a fight scene is... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't go on. <laughs> when the best part about, about a fight scene is that it left something on the ground, then it's not a good fight scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What to say? Why, not, why use the lightsaber on the ground? Mm-hmm. How about using it on other people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> Someone... What was it? Oh, it was Mateos. He made the the meme you asked about me and Michael B. Oh, so cute, right? Nice. Maybe oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love how we've been stuck at four minutes and a half for a while now because we just stop and go on tangents and look at memes because it's way more interesting than AT AT chat. <laughs> And feeling so <laughs> relentless in its energy that we essentially basically forget that we are watching people fully perform. Did you, <laughs> have you... Have you guys been paying attention to the choreography here? Because it's so stupid. Like, the, the guy who was behind uh, Kylo, he just... He, for some reason, he... He, he uh, like, he fucking 
uh, he telegraphed his uh, his movement and he just uh, fuck, uh, used his weapon to go above Kylo instead of actually trying to hit Kylo. Like Kylo wasn't yep. protecting his legs; he could have just gone for for them or something like that. But no, no. And so Kylo right. also didn't use his sword to stab someone; just hovered it over the crown. And he, of course, <laughs> hasn't used the Force yet, so you know. Uh, of course, not too. <laughs> Video essay one hundred and one: the structure of your with flowery language make it sound deep, especially deeper than it actually is. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's something high top films has uh, brought to, uh, to a lot of people to do. Make it seem relentless in its energy. My God, man, that's so deep and flowery. Oh. Flowery, I clapped. Yeah, like, like Nab for real is as well. Like, have you got any idea what the fuck that means? Like, what making it mm. seem relentless in its energy is? Are you guys tin or soapy? Have you guys got any idea what it means? I I don't know what. As I mean, I don't know what re relentless means exactly. So I don't. Okay, let's. And uh, especially not in the context. So, like. I can often like I don't know every English word. That's that's oh, sure. Uh, relentless so uh, I the often, definition is oppressively I often, constant, incessant. So, what? So, sorry. Uh, yeah. Relentless means op oppressively constant or incessant. What is incessant? <laughs> oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's cool. The next definition is what I did, don't understand either. Uh, something that uh, <laughs> it, like it insists. I think like it. it ah, okay. It, yeah, it's insistent. So, oh, I, I, okay, so he means that the scene is like pressing forward in a constant manner and, and you feel it then basically, if you feel the energy that's flowing. Neb said in chat, well, obviously he means the energy is relentless. You can keep up with mine in 8080s. Big, big, big brain teasing. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You so. guys are, yeah, geniuses. Sorry, Neb. I yeah, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Relentless energy that we essentially basically forget that we are watching people fully perform what's happening in front of our eyeballs. Nothing no, is being I don't forget because it's uh, it's so stupid, but yeah, just like yeah, there's one, thing, so one many... thing I hate about just let me say this uh, just one thing I hate about video essays is when they do stuff like a oh, uh, yeah, uh, oh, like we do this, this is does it to us, you know, like don't include me in this shit. Uh, like I'm not a part of that. Yeah. You can say that it does to you. Like it's subjective. I don't care. It won't. It doesn't really matter to the argument. But if you include me, it's uh, it's as if like what you're saying. Like I agree with, and just I don't. <laughs> what you're saying is stupid. Uh, okay. Yeah, and, and uh, <laughs> also like there are so many there are so many other movies and scenes where it's actually true where you don't think about anymore that there are actors on screen or whatever. You just feel what's happening and really immerse yourself in it and that's not with the scene yeah i mean i don't want to mention legion but uh i do want to mention legion the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> <Don't you. laughs> but like if you watch that show you you really you can't think that the, there are uh, the, those are actors actually performing something like you get immersed into this the into the, the the thing because of how good the direction is the acting is the, the writing is yeah and just it, it, that's when something is well done when you watch this throne room, throne room fight you think oh you know the this guard had to uh had to like hit, uh, to hit it above uh, kylo so that the lightsaber could meet it like you you your, your brain is or at least mine my brain i'm not going to do what atat did that i just <laughs> criticize but at least my brain is like well it, it, it's clear what they're doing they're only doing it so the so that the fight scene can go uh, happen instead of actually looking like a fight scene like a uh, the daredevil yeah. fight scenes that actually look like fight scene and it's, and it's amazing especially season three which is 11 minutes long <laughs> without a single cut yeah from what i've seen already in daredevil i watched the first three episodes it's Oh already. yeah, it's, uh, I think it's episode two that has the already first hallway played. fight scene, right? And, uh, when he's going to rescue the the kid. Yeah, it has a shot. Oh, that's yeah, it has a shot scene, and and it looked great. And also like, yeah, just like I could bring so many different. Uh, <laughs> you want to know about the long? There's so many um, movies and series and what uh tv shows and whatever where you just watch the stuff and they you feel like sitting in the room with them or whatever and you feel really immersed and then there's star wars the last jedi where you always are like what the fuck is happening i when i watched the 
the scene again, um, it was uh, interrupted by other stuff happening with uh, Finn and, and, and Poe. So even those, like, I was, I was like, the, what the fuck is happening? Why are they saying this? What? And then the throne uh, room fight again, I'm like, what? And and that makes it even worse that they um, interrupted the battle because um, I think you, uh, yeah, you you don't. You can't even immerse yourself fully into the battle because it's interrupted in the movie. So why? Yeah. <sighs> okay. 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 We're, we're gonna do this. Uh, we spent like uh, I don't know ten minutes yeah. on ten seconds, but we are going to do this. I believe in us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can do it. Okay. <laughs> I love also what Neb said. The scene is pressing forward. Yes, that's how time works. Yeah. Saved by the edit. Ryan Johnson isn't trying to hide anything with tricky, fast-paced cut. <laughs> I just uh, okay. Uh, the, uh, he, he, I thought he, his whole sentence was gonna be Ryan Johnson isn't trying to hide anything, which would be wrong because of the <laughs> the fucking it, it, it has, because of the, the fucking uh, knife disappearing. But like I said earlier, there's a, the there's that part where the the guard has the fucking uh, the knife aimed upwards, and then it's down uh, downwards at the next uh, the next shot, or just right after it's cut. And uh, Ray kills him because of it. Like he could have just stabbed her, but then th the knife just goes through. A it appears somewhere else. So like he clearly is trying to hide the bad choreography with uh, fast edits because you don't notice it because it is too fast and it's flashy and stuff like that. So you know. Exactly. Yeah, but <laughs> whatever you say, T T chat. Cuts. He wants us, me and you, to watch the whole frame while the actors can If he wanted to do that, he'd use wide shots with a just one single continuous cut. Yeah. Or just, maybe not a single continuous cut, but just uh, we'll use wider shots than he's using. But sure, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Carry out the performance. Now, one little drawback to this way of putting a fight sequence together is that the long shot takes are rehearsed over and over and over again to avoid inconsistencies. And but. this can result in a fight that has a bit of dancing, for a lack of a better word. At a certain point, it is a dance, because you automatically begin moving into the next position without even thinking about it. I call it... Yeah, no. I call no. it a uh, bad direction. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a dance in the scene, because they, call, uh, they telegraph what they have to do beforehand. It's not a natural... It's not a natural fight where just things happen. It's it's being said like, okay, you have to move this way. You have to exactly use this rhythm and, and move set and whatever for your dance. And you guys have to hit each other in the weapons and nothing else. And you see this in, in, in the example. He's good example of reacting before action. There is nothing happening here in, in the shot. He just kicks this other guy and both of them don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> like if I would be the guy on the left, I would already have killed uh, Kylo. So oh, fucking. Yeah, look easy. at his fucking right hand. He's <laughs> yeah, he's doing nothing while he's kicking the other guy. I would just slash him and and done. I would have killed Kylo. The, this <laughs> meme has the has the caption by Nab that uh it's a an insight. Uh, here's your, here's an exclusive look into Marcus's mind, which uh yeah sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I have the same with some other stuff, but yeah, Legion, Legion, Legion. Yeah, Legion? it's it's amazing. <laughs> like uh, I watch some stuff, and then I'm talking to someone, and just uh, you know, this reminded me a lot of Legion. Just it's amazing I, how much you bring I, it up. I could do this with One Punch Man and Brooklyn Nine, -Nine and whatever, <laughs> but I'm trying to hold myself back here. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's Let us continue. Push on. On second ahead issue i definitely notice it in every prequel film and i notice oh, it in what? what but that's <laughs> that that scene with darth maul is actually well choreographed like okay he, he cut it, it he cut it too fast but let's uh let's yeah, see but, what the okay, issue i definitely okay they try so, to attack him. yeah so look uh, qui-gon he tries to attack it uh, to attack here he doesn't telegraph a lot and then uh, Darth Maul defends it with his lightsaber. Notice it. And uh, and then he uh, deflects yeah. it and Why throws Qui Gon to to uh, like to the right. And then now exactly. uh, Maul has his uh, side open because he attacked Qui Gon. And then Obi Wan is going in. And then every 
as uh, like uh, Obi Wan doesn't uh, telegraph much, he just goes to attack him, and then Darth Maul just uses his, li his lightsaber to deflect it again. So like this is good choreography. Like you can't use this as an example yeah. without just uh, without just substantiating it. It just pre please everyone that's gonna make video essays or anything in regards to like film or stuff like this substantiate your points. It's it's so important to do that. Like. How are you going to convince people that you're right if you don't substantiate or use the evidence to prove your points? Yeah. Pre prequel film. Oh, and then uh, is it, you see. Uh, here, let me. Uh, okay, Two. let me go back I again. I definitely notice it. And right, every. Okay. He, he deflects Obi Wan, and then Obi Wan goes to attack uh, Maul. Prequel. But Maul defends uh, down there, and then Qui Gon is going to attack as well. So like, really, I can't see any problem with this uh, choreography part. Like, there may be some, like. Uh, no, he he's not trying to say that there's a problem here. He's trying to say this. No, he said uh, it's a. It looks um, like a like it's a a dance scene. Like uh, people are reacting before the action happens. But th this isn't what's happening here. Like uh, this choreography is well done. Also, he. Oh, you cut off there. <laughs> For fuck's sake, <laughs> this is a Jedi battle, as in they can react very, very quickly. And yeah. in, and in TLG, they weren't fighting other Jedi, they were just fighting guards, so it doesn't make sense for it to happen. <sighs> it makes sense to happen in the prequels. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, there are a couple of moments when Maul goes for Obi-Wan's lightsaber, they're few and far between. In the throne room fight, that stuff is legitimately the ho just the whole scene, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But Cool film. Is it in this film as well? Oh, but where this movie? Let me rewind here. And I notice it in this film as well. But where this movie blows the rest out of the water is when it comes to how the shots are composed and how Steve Yedlin and Ryan chose to follow the action. Every okay, he okay rule of thir thirds. Uh, just okay. That's wow, <laughs> amazing. They, they use rule of thirds very. <laughs> revolutionizing the the genre intersections points of view. yeah we know what that is draw the eye out of the center uh, that is all one take over time every individual frame is almost perfectly composed throughout the fight that's insane wow he used oh, the rule of oh. thirds that's wow who would have imagined Your standard filmmaking what you learn in every film school everyone knows what fucking rule of thirds wow, is. How, wow how that's amazing <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I love what uh, what Neb said. Hey, it's the Phantom Menace too, guys. You know, infamously beloved movie, the Phantom Menace. Yeah, it's a. He's yeah. using the the prequels as uh, if they're like strong arguments, and it's still what about ism? But yeah. The individual frame is almost perfectly I, composed throughout the fight. Sorry, That's I really want to watch the fight scenes and the prequels again. Oh, yeah, we need to, uh, we need to watch the time. prequels again. There. That, that would be fun. We need to watch the Star Wars movies at some point, yes. Uh, and and even, like, I find them the prequels mostly boring, but the fight scenes I actually uh, love are all the prequels, yeah. better than the stuff. I love all the prequels, but, yeah, I have loads of problems with them. I just I f find them fun to watch. <laughs> who was the one who made this? <laughs> it was Mateus again. But, but I'm the one rambling here, so it doesn't really work, but yeah. Oh yeah, but what you're rambling it's obviously about obviously me who's rambling. Oh yeah, no, Tin can't shut up, it's just fucking annoying. If, <laughs> if you guys in chat haven't noticed, I have to mute him sometimes so that uh, me and... Sonny yeah, he talk. talks way too much. Yeah. I've got quite a gob on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Hey. Uh, my friend just messaged me saying, wow, <laughs> you guys did five minutes in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just, it's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it happens. Just two hours and three minutes. I said we'd go for around uh, three hours. I think it may be a bit more than that, but you know, we'll see. Yes, it's a... hopefully his outro is long. Well, hopefully it isn't, so yeah. he actually can substantiate his points. But hopefully it is, just so I can don't hear more yeah, retarded no, stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean him. I can't expect him to substantiate his points, but I really wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> with Marcus really you know, what I'm saying when legitimately talking more than Tin yes <laughs> Neb is a uh, more talkative guest than Tin I think what Ryan and Steve were trying to achieve with this shot and entire sequence is to make the audience feel the ebb and flow of the fight exactly how the characters would start off on the wide shot what? I'm, I'm in there I'm standing in oh sorry I'm standing in the room yeah. I'm standing there and looking around and saying 
Kylo, what the fuck are you doing? Why don't you use the force? Ray, what? Guards, are you fucking retired? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> and then I will go there and take a fucking lightsaber and kill them all myself because I would be doing a way better job than they do. <laughs> Audience feel the ebb and flow of the fight exactly but, how- uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited now because I think he's going to substantiate his point, so let's see. The characters so. would start on on wide shots to establish space and a sense of movement, begin tracking with our heroes as they dominate the fight, but then dolly in tight as things become- By the way, that's so retarded that the, their hands can uh, fucking deflect lightsaber. Like, if they if their hands have that stuff, why doesn't the rest of the armor do? Like I said, Ray is cutting through his armpit, but in the next second, uh, um, Kylo's lightsaber doesn't do anything to the armor. It doesn't. No, it, yeah, it's because uh, earlier the, the, there was a that guard that uh, put the the thing over his uh, his uh, left arm, and uh, it was like a few. For, I forgot the, the name of the thingy, but yeah, he put it there and it wasn't cutting through. But so, yeah. but like, why is that part of his armor working like that, and why the rest of the arm? Why is the rest of the armor not like? It's so useless. Why? Uh, put the entire armor like that. Otherwise, it's just a useless piece of armor. It's not armor at all. It's just it's a uniform. More troublesome yeah. characters until we are right up in their faces at their most vulnerable. It makes us feel vulnerable as we watch it happen. I don't feel vulnerable because I know the, because the the choreography is so bad, and I just I don't care about Kylo. I want him to die. He's a fucking yeah i'm just laughing yeah i just i really don't care about these characters and don't feel vulnerable or anything like that that's stupid <sighs> works so many variables are at play in the filming of this scene that honestly i find it exhausting to think about timing is so key when long takes are priority if you want they weren't long takes long take. we didn't use long takes i do agree Very that uh, timing is key when a uh, when a uh, like long takes are a priority because like if you see like what uh, the makers of their devil talked about the 11 minute fight scene and then season three they did say like getting the timing right was hard as fuck but like this it, these these aren't long takes like uh the yeah. longest take was what 12 seconds that he said or 15 whatever and it's just he said 12, I think. yeah so ah, 12 seconds is nothing no not at all like if a 12 second take isn't that and that was the longest the other the other ed uh, edits uh, are always like two seconds maybe oh yeah but there, there are shots that last less a, than a second not long not long ah uh, okay watch the documentary on the last jedi called the director and the jedi no, there are some no, really no, interesting no. bits about no no i don't want to i'd rather shoot myself <laughs> yeah yeah but uh yeah i don't don't want to get any insight into ryan's mind i'm sorry took to make just this sequence there was and, wow they they put effort in and it still was this shit imagine if yes. imagine if they hadn't put any effort in wow oh fuck wait they put effort <laughs> in apparently like apparently, yeah apparently yeah. that's what he says <laughs> interesting <laughs> made shock to me. about how much effort it took yeah, how much to make just took. this sequence wow they spent time and effort to do something and it was still this bad i'm sorry for for uh, ryan johnson that must have sucked Actually, I'm not sorry for you, Ryan Johnson, but you know. I just feel bad for the stunt for the stunt guys. Oh yeah, the the stunt guys I do like. Uh, I uh, <laughs> what Shad said in his video like these stunt guys they must have been they must have felt awful while filming this like just like trying to do these mediocre moves and just going uh, doing them so retardedly. It's uh yeah. Oh, there is another meme. <laughs> uh, that's Mateo's again. God damn it. Okay. Oh, uh, god damn it. Uh, let me show it on screen. Yes, uh, that is how it's been working. I've, uh, I've been muting uh, Tin every time he talks because he talks too much. Uh, what you've been hearing are the times that I uh, I haven't muted him. But I'm British, damn it, I'm supposed to talk. Yes, you are. Uh, okay, uh, apparently Soapy's AFK for a bit. Uh, citing a documentary is the equivalent of uh, citing save the cat. What the fuck is save the cat? Uh, save the cat, the last book on screen screenwriting you. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, what? It was, uh, was just right to mention that in this The Last of Us 2 video, right? 
That was a uh, quite something. Yeah, Mateus is yeah, a yeah. machine. Uh, yes, there are interesting bits like Luke's face of pain. <laughs> Uh, like a uh, whoa! In the documentary, they show a different take of uh, the Luke uh, and Leia meeting scene, and it was so much better than the version we got. Like uh, the acting is brilliant. Leia starts crying; it's beautiful. But they cut it out for some reason. But I, I still think the uh, go on. Uh, well, I was gonna say because Ryan Johnson's an idiot, but go on. Yeah, but uh, like I still think the the scene that ended up in the film was uh, alright like uh, the acting from Mark Hamill and uh, Carrie Fisher was good and uh, seeing them two together after all this time was pretty neat just a shame he wasn't actually there <laughs> yeah which makes me wonder how the fuck did he kiss her on the head if he wasn't there because he, he's like he's like Schrodinger's uh, touch he can't he is able to touch people but he's also not there at the same time uh, and how can how can Kylo go through him, but he can also touch Leia? Uh, I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, and Neb made another meme. And oh, good. The, I can tip him. The caption is Soapy saying, "I'm standing there in the scene. Just put this image in my head." So here it is. Yeah, just Soapy's just standing there, uh, watching uh, Kylo be a retard and the guards be retard. <laughs> uh, this beeps have been great, huh? I'm impressed. I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We have oh, we have twelve people watching currently. That's that's fun. I'm back. Oh, hello there. Let's see. Okay. General uh, soap. Did you see uh, the last meme you just showed? The uh, it was Neb. Yeah. So, I'm so standing saying there. I'm standing there. <laughs> uh, that looks great. Okay. I have to save it. What's the uh, what's the thing with the muted and British noises thing? Oh yeah, it's because I said that. It's because I, I talk too much. Yeah, it's because I said I, I had to mute Tin because he talks too much. Ah. <laughs> and also, I'm British. Yeah. Yeah, that that I know. <laughs> All right. There were six yeah. of rehearsal for this fight. Wait, six one? It skipped a second. Fight. They did this shit for six fucking six months? months. There were six months of rehearsal. Six months and it still was this bad. How? Fucking! Okay. Uh, spent six imagine if it months was, uh, on this shit, and it was still this fucking bad. <laughs> imagine if it was David Fincher fucking directing this film, and he likes to do like a hundred takes. Imagine him just seeing the choreography be terrible every take, and he just gives up in the middle of it, just like, nah, I can't do this anymore. You're, you're too terrible. Just like, oh, what the fuck? How can you spend six months and it still look that bad? rehearsal for this fight. Ryan Johnson said that he loved the idea of shooting this like the fight scenes that he grew up loving. Like a Jackie Chan movie where you can throw on a wide angle lens and just follow the character around. Yeah, but the uh, Jackie Chan fights are actually good. That's it, you know, but when compared to this one especially, because uh, like imagine you do some, something like this, like, oh, I was inspired by X to do this part of my film. And uh, it's as bad as the throne room fight. Isn't that disrespectful to fucking to the thing you're uh, you're saying you were inspired by? Because just like oh yeah, I was inspired by this, so I fucking made it terrible. I made it a, a worse, much worse version than it actually is. <laughs> Neb said, "World War Three, Britain, Brazil, and Germany come together to decimate an American's video. How very diverse!" I clapped. <laughs> I didn't know what World War III needed, needed a diversity quota. <laughs> uh, our... Everything was... Yeah. Okay, uh, rewind a bit. Okay. Follow the character around. He wants the actors to be really doing the performance over some stunt double, and thankfully, it paid off as far as I'm concerned. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't it's fucking like, pay off. Because, like, you, you can't the see the... You can't see the acting, like, properly. The because like the, the cuts are too quick and they don't uh, focus on their faces a lot and when they do Daisy Ridley isn't acting well because well she just has that same expression as always just uh, eyes wide open and mouth a ga mouth agape and uh, just yeah Adam Driver is good but uh, if the choreography was better I, I would have I don't liked think it. Adam Driver is good no I think he's a fantastic actor I just don't really know if he's good in Not the in Star Wars movie. film Not in this movie. oh yeah he's a he's fucking brilliant in a marriage story but uh I don't probably but not in like if I I only know him from TLC and everybody's like saying he's 
great actor not like I, and i'm watching tlc and we think how is that a great actor he's nothing doing nothing special he's just saying stuff so i i, I think I he's, uh, he's a bit over yeah, the uh, top yeah. in the star wars films like he he like he emotes a bit too much instead of a having yeah. like a nuanced performance which i think is more due to the directing than acting because he's actually a good actor i recommend uh, watching yeah I, I don't doubt it but i wouldn't say it based on tlj <laughs> oh yeah so. no definitely just i don't know i think his acting tlj is okay like i in the tlj and the 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 sequel trilogy and as a whole i think it's okay i don't think it's uh wow amazing it's just i think <laughs> he's good in other Ray stuff too, in the, the sequels it's really is not this really is not bad but he also doesn't show anything in the movie the only just, part the only acting from this yeah. really that i like was in tfa when she like first meets finn and when uh and like uh, and uh, just like sure. she has a few nuances in her in her Acting that were that were good that I think all worked mostly because of uh, like she actually had something to work with outside of the rest of the films where she didn't have anything to work with because she is not a character she she's a blank slate that's uh, perfect at everything. This sure, yeah, mind yeah. is awesome. Get it done in front of the camera with the real actors. Now, I understand that this isn't something which every film will be capable of. So we can't just say, yeah, do everything in front of the camera because it's cool. But it would be nice to hear more often that a director chose a harder path than a more familiar and perhaps easier. I do agree with that statement that uh, I think it's better when uh, when someone... When, I think it's better when someone, uh, when the director here, like he tr tries to do something that is harder, so the payoff is bigger, like so it looks better on screen, which is a uh, something I uh, I have noticed on, uh, which I have noticed on <laughs> Legion. Yes, I mentioned Legion again, but uh, oh for God's sake! Uh, I'll nice make a video scene. on the cinematography of Legion. You you guys will understand why I'm saying that. But like uh, what Ryan Johnson did just made the film worse, so I don't care. <laughs> but yeah. it speaks. Uh, let me show that meme. <laughs> okay, here. The thing is, now next time, Tin is not allowed to speak more, even though he would, because it would destroy the meme. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, but you're gonna. Oh, uh, gonna yeah, you talk. Movie. The sacrifices I make for you guys in this and 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 he come. Your route of doubles, clever editing, CGI to make a sequence. <laughs> he used CGI to fucking get the <laughs> the the uh, well, not CGI, but like he used the editing, clever editing, as he calls it, to uh, to get the knife out of the fucking scene. So he's just exactly. wrong. <laughs> And yes, AVCB, my Legion count is at 904. I'm hoping to get you 1,000 before the stream ends. Yeah. <laughs> When's work? Now, plenty I'm of videos. just ramble on for a bit to wrap this up. Oh, wrap this up. So the last few minutes are going to be rambling on be about whatever. Okay, so his points. Okay, so this is basically the like the, uh, the end of the video now. It's just a conclusion. So and he didn't substantiate well, anything. No, and, and sorry, but I noticed the stuff. Why the fuck is it I am and not I apostrophe am? That's a good point, yeah. Oh god, you just had to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't oh, even know. I have to. I'm autistic, okay? I'm I'm noticing stuff like this. It's just, I why are autistic. they always doing it? <sighs> then you're not a proper autist. <laughs> no, um, but I'm, not is... a proper, I'm not a proper. I'm not a proper autism. <laughs> exactly. No, but, but seriously, they make a video and they edit it. And they put uh, text on screen. Why the fuck don't they take a few seconds to read it over and see if they if they do any mistakes, like the physics physics guy uh, last time on Eiffel or something like that? Why are they showing? Um, what? What is the first thing? It's a pig flying. I don't get it. I I don't get it either. The whole thing. Uh, this will happen when pigs fly. Oh, right, makes sense. When I oh. speak, pigs will fly. Yeah, makes you, sense, you, makes sense. Oh, you wow, talk. that's smart, Nev. Congratulations. Okay, that, that's that's actually a smart, Nev. Oh, uh, okay, so, but anyway, they they have the time to go over the video and read, proofread uh, what they are putting on screen 
and then they make stupid mistakes like that. I I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to think we, uh, we, you guys don't like this video. I don't really get why it's such a good video. <laughs> yeah. Videos exist to wreck this sequence to shreds. And it's all for various reasons. And, and I think it's mostly because the choreography is awful and uh, people praise it the hell out of this scene, even though it's terrible. So, but. Sure, let's see what he's gonna say. Most of them are dumb. There is most so much to learn from watching this Oh, battle. okay, he, he, I thought he was gonna yeah, just so say, oh, most of them are dumb, and I thought he was gonna give an example of a dumb reason to uh, go after okay. the scene, but of course he didn't. Why would he? And then he says there's so much to learn from this phone room scene fight thingy. Uh, yes, he, he's right, but he doesn't realize that it's the other things we learn from it. He doesn't want, like... A great teacher, Philly is. Learn, we learn how... <laughs> You learn how to not make make scenes like this, and yeah, yeah, pretty much. If you if you look at the scene, you're like, uh, see, what you can learn is that this is exactly not uh, what you what you have to do if you want to make a good fight scene. Yeah, should do mostly the opposite. Okay, okay, come on, just uh, two minutes. All sequence on the detriment of a disappearing blade or the sentiments of some. Just a uh, disappearing blade is just one part of the scene. Like the choreography is totally broken. Yeah, th 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 that's um, one thing I noticed with all those video essay stuff. They can't really address the proper arguments because it, it's impossible to refute the valid proper arguments. So they have to cling on the smaller arguments and try to strawman them and whatever. So. Of course, they are saying, oh, you find the throne room fight bad because of the disappearing knife. And it's one part, like I said, it's a smaller part. There are so many more problems with this fight. It's just a to show how little they really cared about the fight. And But they can't address the other stuff. So they have to cling on this one thing that nobody is saying is the, is the main reason it being bad yeah. that's all they do all video essays oh, all the bad ones another meme uh hold on no not more memes yes yes more memes they're funny i like them uh, <laughs> that's me that's me <laughs> uh, how do you spend so much time at the fights and it still looks shit <laughs> ah that's great uh, okay okay but also it's inaccurate because it's me talking yeah i was gonna say that but you know <laughs> You started to talk more um, for the past like 20 minutes, so. Exactly. Oh it's shit, I need, I need to come back on that. Yeah, you need to it's shut the fuck up, man. It's fucking way too much. I just like how. No, shut up, man. <laughs> Are we all women? Uh, okay, can, can we go back to the video? No, yes. <laughs> Random sound. This scene is a demonstration on how to make something feel larger than life while a. <laughs> It's a demonstration on how to be fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look, what does he, what does he mean with making something feel larger than life? Uh, his his life must be very small. Then. <laughs> oh, I mean, in C T T chat, his life is pretty worthless. Yeah. Uh, That's basically what I always say. Yeah. Hello, but at the folks. same time, oh, keeping nothing. things as simple and elegant as possible. If you want he to- He said elegant again. I just... <laughs> I, I, I'd really like for him to substantiate his points. It would be really fun. I really enjoy him for you. Uh, I really like if he had actually substantiated this. These points he's making. To be an editor, yeah. study this scene. Figure out why they didn't cut. And then figure out why they cut. If... <laughs> We know why they cut because they suck. Yeah, what they did cut was to show, like I don't know, it's normal editing until there is some retarded shit, like I said, with the the blade uh, changing with uh, between shots. So it's a continuity mistake that lets Ray live like, as well. So yeah, it's uh <laughs> the the editing isn't good in this scene. Like it's normal until it gets bad because it was some mistake. So yeah, and he still hasn't substantiated any of his points. Yeah, except for the the blocking one where he said, "Oh, the use the, or what was it? The rule of thirds, which uh, yeah, pretty innovative for yeah. Brian Johnson to do. <laughs> use the rule of thirds. 
If you want to be a cinematographer, study this scene. Figure out why they did the shots they did, and why they moved and ended up in areas they did as the fight went on. If you want to learn how did. music cues and bits of action are supposed to line up, study this scene. Yeah, oh, you study it thoroughly, so you look at exactly why it fails so terribly. Yeah. Just study why... Oh, oh. He didn't. He probably didn't study this scene. Oh, yeah. All he did was watching it in the theater, laughing it, going home, thinking about it, watching it again with his uh, stupid uh, pink glasses on, and just say, ooh, wow, ooh, shiny, oh, cut, ooh, edit. And then um, he thought it's, uh, that would be the studying of it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he, he, lo he looked at the scene. <laughs> left <more> of the <laughs> he looked at the scene and saw oh, bright, uh, bright lights. That's fun. And yeah, that was it. I saw your chest out of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need more office. <laughs> oh, Scooby Dubious is in chat. How you doing, bro? Type up your game. Yeah. Sorry, fighting expert. Oh, this oh, scene is legitimately videos. the worst. Yeah, but Neb, how did it make you? feel oh, it makes me feel so bad I, I i wanted to cut my eyes out <laughs> it, made, it made me want to feel like i want to kill myself yeah yeah <laughs> oh, so I'll end this video with my own little nitpick for the entire sequence because after all, oh. I do have one criticism that I would have definitely brought up in the editing room. Just one? Yeah, hey, okay. hey, at least one. Well, at least he's, at <laughs> he's least saying it, at least he's saying it's not perfect, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's it's something I better than... Like, he, he's now at least 100%, 1000% uh, better at, uh, than everybody else. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... he's still shit, but but at least he has one criticism of some, uh, on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, he did the bare, he did the bare minimum. He acknowledged that the scene isn't perfect. Yeah. Oh man. Editor, Jedi. I would have increased the speed of the fight ever so slightly to get what? around the visual danciness of a very rehearsed fight sequence. Uh, but I do what? so. Okay, so uh, uh, let's break this down. So he's saying the fight needed to be uh, or to happen faster, so that the how like the dancing that he said that he mentions is the thing that like uh, actors react before the action happens, which is because they rehearsed it a lot, which I already mentioned. So basically, he's saying the fight is not well choreographed. So I would have made it uh, faster, so that the choreography would have been more seamless. So basically, he's saying the choreography is bad. And and uh, he says that's a small nitpick. Like people need to proofread their stuff. This small sentence just disproves yeah. what he said in this entire video. Okay. Oh, there's another meme. Wait. <laughs> uh, I like this meme. Yes, exactly. That's how. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, oh, I mean, man. this film should be taught in film school, so to, uh, so as you how not to make a film. Ah, okay, come on. We're only one minute there uh, from finishing the video, I believe, in us, and two hours and a half. So I was actually kind of right with the three hours thing. I have a little ex prepared right here, kind of, which I sped up. This is subjective. So you're saying that something else is objective, like the choreography being bad. But let me go back because I didn't listen to his point. What? Yeah. Sequence. I have a little paired right here, kind of, which I sped up in an extremely cheap way, and this is just to get the point across. But that's really it. This. Okay, that that didn't prove anything. And the the audio from the the fight scene being there also fucking sucks because uh, it made it harder for me to pay attention to what he was saying. But yeah, it's just an example of what he said he wanted to do if he he was in the editing room. But yeah, he, he like I said, the, him wanting to do that basically proves this entire video wrong, but okay. Entire throne room scene is Ryan Johnson and Steve Yedlin's little masterpiece. But little masterpiece? <laughs> okay, whatever. I, I'm just too dumb with this video to really say something to this. Oh, no, I'm dumbfounded. I'm, I'm just done with everything. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, let's let him finish. But it wouldn't have been as good as it was had Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley not performed everything we saw in front of the camera. And that but what in front of what then? Like, couldn't he use evidence to prove that point? Like, say, oh, see this, uh, 
the scene if you, because it is Daisy Ridley. You look at her face and it feels more real or something like that. He doesn't use it. He does never substantiates his fucking points. Ah. <laughs> um. God. <laughs> what about does it for today's video? Oh, we did. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, and fuck if you yeah. can, leave your comments below on how the scene made you feel. What did you like about it? What didn't you like? About I hated everything I about like it, and it made me feel oh, terrible. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I want to die. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I... And then it even gets interrupted in the movie. Like, why do they cut in other scenes to drag this shit out? It, it makes makes it worse. It's not good, okay? <laughs> totally fine to not like it. However, if you can just leave some constructive feedback onto what you think would have made the scene work better, <sighs> totally- Choreography being good, that's uh, that's it. That, that's all I want. <laughs> scene in an actually good movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, just a scene on its own, if you had good choreography, would have been good. But yeah, if yeah. it wasn't a good film, I could have excused the bad choreography as well. Like, uh, it would still be a bad scene, but the, uh, the emotional impact would have been better. It would have been bigger because it wasn't a good movie, but I digress. Do yeah. it. No right or wrong here. It's a movie. Well, there is, no, 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 there's no, no, no right or wrong no, no, here, no, no, except no, no, that no. you are wrong and we proved that you were wrong. Countless exactly. That, I hate this, all this thing. Okay, uh, yeah, I get you don't like the scene and you like the scene and it's not wrong. You, you can all have your perspective. And, but yeah, but there's also a thing like quality we can. <laughs> We can prove like your perception okay you like it you like it not that's totally fine but we can still prove why this shit is shit and it, it's not fine to say just i hate this always like oh you're allowed to have your opinion it's not my opinion it's a fucking fact <laughs> fuck you guys i, I hate this every time oh, just... you can't have a discussion with that oh but uh it's like People mentioned earlier what AT&T chat told Zodiac, like, uh, oh, uh, good luck on your objective endeavors. Like, he he thinks the yeah. idea of objectivity is retarded, and, uh, well, he's... Re yeah, and he's retarded for thinking that. Yeah. Well, he's fucking retarded. Yeah. Yeah. When I first saw the scene when Kylo lighted the lightsaber, the guard said, a little kid just yelled out, that was sick. Well, I mean, it's a little <laughs> kid. I, I can't imagine for him for to, like really understand how the choreography works yeah. and, and like, I like the first time i watched it i thought it was good but like seeing breakdowns of it and especially just if you just point out the disappearing knife you know you're already your brain already starts to work on the rest of the scene like what how the fuck does this actually work how did this scene uh, function and then you realize that it didn't function at all but <laughs> and, that, and that's the thing that stuff like tlj bad stuff like tlj they wrap it up in in shiny things like um, you, you have this. Um, uh, yeah, you have you have this little shit thing, and you wrap um, uh, something good around it, and everybody's like, "Oh, it looks so shiny! It looks so good! It, whatever!" And because it's your first impression you have, and if you then dig in deeper and actually unwrap it, then you see what shit it is. And it happens a lot with those movies, like bad movies, like The Room or whatever or Sharknado and whatnot, you see it from from the beginning that it's shit. You, you, you just see it. it. It's so shit. But movies like TLJ can disguise the stuff and fool many, many people. And I, 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 if I had seen the the movie in the theaters, I probably would have liked the scene as well. Oh, yeah. What a, but, one thing uh, I find funny is that what you're seeing is actually a... Defense of TLJ, the just right used in the, his debate with Wolf Wolf and Mahler, he said that uh, like oh this fir this stuff never shows up in the first viewing, so like the movie can disguise exactly. itself in the first viewing, but the rest no. Exactly, but if you watch it again without the 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 goggles on it, like I did with um or like I will do with uh, Far From Home because I really loved loved the movie, uh, <laughs> but um uh. Yeah, I really love uh, Far From Home, but ever since I'm more on Twitter and I read about the problems, and I, I already had my problems with the movie, but there are so much more. Um, I will watch it again soon and see what my perspective on it will be, if I still like it or not. Um, but yeah, you even if you love something, watch it again, be a bit more critical, think, think a bit more about it. And then you can see if it holds up or not. And even if it doesn't, like we're far from home, it sucks. The movie sucks, 
but it's still I still enjoy it very much. So yeah, yeah I mean, there is no problem with enjoying something that. Uh... Yeah, and and sure, some things are like um, like I I I feel sad for many people who enjoy the last shadow because they enjoy it on such a surface level, and um, like oh, it looks great and sound is good. That's it's like okay, I can enjoy everything with this kind of mentality. So I think that's a bit sad. For me, but while why I enjoy um, Far From Home that much, even though it sucks, it's more like it's it's more than just the music and looks good. It has the uh, I really like um, Tom Holland. It's, it's a great dude. I like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. The chemistry between them, um, stuff like that, right? And and so I realized that it's not. Um, Damn, I, I hate when I ramble because I really lose myself all the time. Um, but I think when I say I love uh, love um, Far From Home, it's more than just surface level stuff. It's still I still have to rewatch it and think about it. Do I really enjoy it that much uh, than I thought? Mm -hmm. But I I see many people enjoying stuff just because of some very very surface level um, stuff, and that's kind of sad because i can enjoy everything with this I, I could enjoy transformers and uh i don't know what bad movies are out there uh black panther or whatever with this kind of mentality i can enjoy everything then yeah i i think when when you say you enjoy stuff because of that i don't think you're really intelligent you feel mm, yeah um, i mean i think your your mind is not really challenge yeah, but, your brain but, only wants you to see the surface level stuff instead of actually looking at, yeah. looking at the, the deeper at it yeah am i evil because i don't uh because i think far from home sucks of course <laughs> Did, have you learned nothing from michael b for fuck's sake yeah right fuck i can't i can't dislike or, or say something is bad be, uh with spidey because it would be evil <laughs> oh michael b is yes. oh, okay Let's let's get this 20, uh, 26 seconds we make that. Yeah, let me just uh, show this meme and then we can go back to that. <laughs> we'll call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do agree with that, with all of those uh, descriptions. Okay, okay. Well, I, so I have to say, I I came came out of the theater when uh, watching Force Awakens. I was there with a buddy and we we were working out there and and say, oh, this was great. This was so. Did you see this and wow and, and and I like that and what not we we were really really uh we really enjoyed that movie and uh, like so pumped and and yeah Star Wars <laughs> it goes on and continues and then like we didn't talk about it later then uh, like uh for for weeks and months and then it started to be like uh, I don't know is this movie really good or not and normally I would have watched it again uh it, it was on netflix then uh, at some point and uh, normally we would have watched it again and just enjoyed it again but i was like i don't want i don't want to watch that movie again and then uh tlj came out and then Morda did his video and i was like yeah yeah <laughs> i'm done <laughs> it's really sad I really enjoyed that movie and, and, and that was the first the surface level or most surface level stuff in the movie that 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 you see and you don't really think about because or the spectacle yeah and so i can i can totally understand when people walk out of the theater and, and say wow that was great but as soon as you think about it you should realize how bad the stuff really is yeah or at least yeah. or at least and like i said i i have this with some other stuff as well uh, i i struggle with the boys being bad or not um but uh aside from that the ending of the last episode was really stupid yeah. um but uh the thing is then, the, the difference is then, even if you enjoy something really, really much and you think oh, the criticisms are uh, not valid or stupid or whatever, and hear them out first and think about if they not just saying, oh, they are wrong, they are wrong. Think about it first and then evaluate if it's true or not. And then if you think it's wrong, you would have evidence in the movie or in the show to disprove that thing so and and we saw that on on EFAB yesterday everybody was like oh that's a, cho a joke but uh with bojack horseman and like yeah i know that's a joke but 
do we have any oh yeah it's a, it's, a, a it's a it's a defense that i hate for because like uh, how metro mother has a ton of that which is why i'm making my video on it yeah. that uh they just they make jokes that just contradict stuff and just uh, the joke only works if it's contradicted and people say oh no it's just a joke uh, it, oh yeah that's the joke that it's but like no it, it it doesn't work it's uh it's devaluing like stuff that came before and it's fucking it's bad like uh, objectively i don't care if uh, if you don't find it yeah. a problem but yeah come on we have 26 yeah. seconds left we're gonna do it yeah just be nice and don't be a dick at at is signing off Oh, so his name is Ed Ed. Oh. Okay, then. He really is. Okay, Ed so we Ed. did finish. Okay, yeah, those are the. Ah, oh, damn. 80, 80 is, is it over now? Yep. Yeah, Am I free over. now? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to see anything oh, else. Yeah. We did it, guys. Oh. We we defeated the. the oh, thank the, uh, fuck. Text. Man. Oh, that was, uh, cool, that was something. So, what are your thoughts on the video? <laughs> I mean, not even does it. I mean, it doesn't really suck that much because it isn't. That the thing is, it didn't say anything really. Yeah. It just said, okay, this is what happens on she the screen. She stated a bunch of stuff and the, didn't substantiate anything. X and then done. Yeah. It, it's typical video essay stuff. It's nine minutes of just dating stuff without saying anything. Yeah. The... Oh yeah, he's not. He's not nice. He's yeah, he said, "Don't be a dick," but he he he's a dick as well. So yeah, that's yeah. A, he's he's a little funny as well. well. <laughs> I, I like when Neb said, "Brings Palpatine back as a joke." Well, now it's okay, guys. Yeah, it's saying, "Oh, it's a, just exactly. a joke." It's such a bad defense. Exactly. It's a space movie without for children. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like I said, I um, sometimes I have retarded arguments as well. I. I I admit it. Oh yeah, that stuff happens. But try it's to, you, try you, to you, be you better. Try to, if someone sick, uh, criticizes something you love, then hear them out first. And then, if you think they're wrong, you can... You have something to disprove that. Um, or it should be that way. And, and the TLDH, uh, TLJ defenders, they don't usually have arguments. They, they can't have arguments, because the movie doesn't bring, give them arguments. So what they have to do is attacking straw men and insulting people who who are criticizing the movie that, that's all they can do yeah pretty much and you see that all the time on twitter and and on in those videos and whatever it's, it's so yeah and uh what so, about you Tim? Uh, do you have a conclusion about this video it was shit yeah. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> uh, yes. I'll, 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 I'll elaborate more if you want, but the basic thoughts is it was shit. Oh yeah, if yeah. you can elaborate, that'd be great. It, it was, well, it was basically just using more aboutisms a lot. Basically, you now the prequels did this, the originals did that, and it's just, just think of an original fucking argument, you utter twat. <laughs> and and like I said before, even if they did a bad. Uh, uh, if they were the, uh, bad in the same way, it doesn't make the other thing better. Yeah, it's uh, what about ism at its finest? Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't hold up. To th That's an argument where I think they don't think about it. They just say it because they saw, they probably saw someone else saying it, and the first person who said it was just just stupid, and they are like, oh, this argument sounds right, and just repeat it without thinking about the implications. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I may as well give my thoughts on the video. Uh, like I, you guys may have noticed, I hated the fact that he, he didn't substantiate any of his points. He just stated a bunch of stuff and like moved on as if that proves anything. It doesn't uh, at all. So, you know, you have to substantiate, you have to use evidence and examples to show that you're right instead of just saying shit. Uh, and uh, like, he's just looking for the more, most surface, surface level stuff to uh, defend this throne room battle and not actually looking for... Uh, like and not acknowledging any of the criticisms that exist because uh if you consider the stuff the like uh, the choreography and the you know the disappearing knife and stuff like that it's just it's blatant that the, the scene is very bad but uh he can't he can't uh he can't seem to realize it uh, that how bad uh, how bad the scene is and he can't seem to acknowledge any of the criticisms people have towards it so like uh, yeah it was a very bad video he like he couldn't defend himself well at all so yeah those are my thoughts 
Yeah. <laughs> and Nebs. Yeah, yeah Nebs. Correctly. Yeah. Yeah, judge my client may have uh, killed a guy, but this other person killed two. Therefore, my client is dismissed. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah just because something is bad in something else doesn't mean that uh, it won't be bad in this scenario as well. Like it's bad in both scenarios. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the I think this is it. You guys have any parting thoughts? I'm I'm a bit tired, uh, not necessarily because of the video, just because of real life stuff. Um, yeah, fuck this video, and and we have to do this again with other stuff, of course. And yeah, we're other gonna people, have to do some. And I now think that uh, we figured out that it works, well. we need, we're gonna have uh, some guests on if people want. So uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, we'll talk about it in the server if you guys want. And yeah, uh, yeah. it's been fun. We'll do this more. And uh, yeah. it's fun. I mean, in the sense of uh, being uh, cathartic to tear this video a new one. But, uh, yeah, but I think the other videos will be better. That there will be some that are not not better in the sense that they are better quality, but more better to respond to. Yeah, I think. Covers nostalgia critic next. Or the. Well, oh, the subject critics videos no. are pretty big, aren't they? So, I don't know. But we'll see. We will see. We will have to, to find out what we want to watch. Um, yeah, thanks for booing us. Yeah. Up. Bad podcast. Yeah, you... We're pretty short. Yeah, right? just three yeah, hours. Uh, and less than three hours. <laughs> That's, uh, we're short, man. I'm pretty sure this is longer than the first EFAP. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the earlier yeah. EFAPs, like Mahler says, oh, this is oh, a five-hour stream. This is, like, huge. And then, uh, you know... <laughs> That's so funny. Funny. That's and that trust one was like 12 hours oh yeah yeah <laughs> oh nev That's you funny. don't have to lie legion isn't bad but yeah uh oh yeah great uh so yeah guys, i think this is it uh, for today with the stream uh you can uh yeah the stream will be available in the ecom channel uh which uh will i'll work on making that uh as soon as i finish this and uh, uh yeah kick me neb and the, uh, <laughs> and the, uh, but it also I'll still leave it uh, unlisted if people want to check out the the original stream. So yeah, till next time, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.